This is Red Bank coming to you live from Vulcan Gas Company in Austin, Texas, for a brand new episode of Kill Tony. Give it up for Tony. Hitch clap. Yeah! How about a big hand for Brian Redband, everybody? Hey, We're here. Everybody. It's Kill Tony Live on Sixth Street. Can't scare us away. <laughs> Fucking Sixth Street. How about that, huh? How about a hand for the survivors? Thirteen people shot this week. Zero deaths. How about a hand oh, for what? Texas, huh? <laughs> Okay, let's just save the energy. Thank you, Red Band, for the good news. Always good news, Red Band. No, really, king of a comedy over here. Yes. Everything is good, and we are here for another... How many, how many of you are excited to be here tonight, huh? <laughs> Fuck yeah. It's a dangerous show. Not for the week, baby. No one does it better on Mondays than us. How loud can this place get for the band, everyone? Oh, yeah. Come on, huh? <laughs> the madness on the bass guitar. Michael Gonzalez on drums, the great Matt Muling on guitar. Thanks for dressing up tonight, Matt Muling. Incredible stuff. You look like Larry the Cable Guy with cancer. I love it. This is great. It's my band. I'm allowed to make fun of them. Fuck it. The great Ryan J. Ebel is here drawing tonight's episode in Los Angeles, California right now, watching this stream, an exclusive stream that only he gets. Fun stuff ahead. We're all stuffed up on uh, barbecue, thanks to our friends over at CM Smokehouse at Bolden Acres. And great Yoni at Best Barbecue Show hooks it up, and uh, we love CM Smokehouse. We go there a few times a week. Everything's good. Shout out to the Red Rose Yellow Rose. Yeah. Fun stuff. And uh, all the amazing stuff that goes on here. You know what? Can, I have a deli can someone back there make me a delicious Crown Royal and Coca-Cola? That sounds perfect me right now. Me too. I would love Look to have you one, one of those delicious too? Okay, Crown great. Perfect. Uh, and uh, before we start tonight's show, here's a little bit about the amazing sponsors that made tonight's episode available for you right now. When it comes to looking for a job, most people would probably agree that the whole experience is not fun. In fact, here are some things I'd rather do than look for a job. I'd rather dig a hole for no reason whatsoever on a hot Texas day. I'd rather watch a three-hour documentary about sea slugs. But it doesn't have to be this way. ZipRecruiter gets it. In fact, they've actually figured out ways to make the job search process better and a lot easier. When you sign up on ZipRecruiter.com, you can create a free profile. Then you get matched to great jobs, but also a lot more. ZipRecruiter will proactively pitch your profile to employers whose jobs match your experience. Unlike with other job sites, if an actual person from the company really likes what they see, they can personally invite you to apply to their job. Candidates who are invited to apply on ZipRecruiter are nearly three times as likely to get hired. Plus, if you like the job, you can apply to it and many others with just one click. It's that easy. No wonder ZipRecruiter is the number one rated job site in the U.S. You know it. We know it. So what are you waiting for? If you want an easier job search, sign up for free right now on ZipRecruiter.com. Once again, go to ZipRecruiter.com today to sign up absolutely free and put ZipRecruiter to work for you. If dreams of vacations and enjoying the fun of life are turning back into a reality for you, don't let concerns over financial setbacks keep you from saying yes. Credit Karma helps keep your financial goals in check so you won't have to hit pause on a good time ahead. That's right. Credit Karma's game-changing technology shows you tailored offers for credit cards and personal loans that you're more likely to be approved for, so you can apply with more confidence. They use your credit and other financial information to show you custom recommendations. Whether you just want cash back, travel rewards, or 
to consolidate debt, Credit Karma can help you find the offers that fit your goals. With a selection of option and approval odds, you have the power to make informed decisions. You, you can also look up credit card offers for college students or see personal loans recommended for credit card refinancing. Credit Karma shows each credit card or personal loan offer, including details, rates, fees, and loan amounts. Credit Karma, apply with confidence. And we know about confidence. Go to creditkarma.com slash podcast to learn more and find offers tailored just for you. That's creditkarma.com slash podcast, or you can see your offers on the Credit Karma app. Apply with confidence today. Go to creditkarma.com slash podcast or the Credit Karma app. You guys ready to start the show? Well, well, well. Every single episode, I always have uh, an unbelievably hilarious guest on. We've had some real fucking bangers since we started here at Vulcan Gas Company. I gotta tell you, it's been nothing but momentum. And this is an exciting one. Not only is this guy absolutely hysterical, but he's also one of the great musicians of the world. He famously has been on Kill Tony before, and he's here again. Ladies and gentlemen, Austin Zone, Danny Brown, everybody! Oh, shit. No way. Is it the real Danny Brown? I can't see. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Danny Brown's the man. No, what up, no. <laughs> Welcome, Danny. It's the real Danny Brown, everybody. Chilling. How y'all motherfuckers doing? Uh, yeah, Danny, welcome back to the show. It's been a long time since you were on. We had you on in Detroit, Michigan. Yeah, not the best time. <laughs> he was, he was, a, it was a, Danny had a, maybe, 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 maybe some uh, energizing uh, influences. Uh, yeah, too much Adderall. Too much Adderall. There it is. The truth comes out. <laughs> now he's in Austin chilling with yeah, us. Yeah, no Adderall now. It's just barbecue. What I love about it. It's the opposite effect. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> Barbecue here is the opposite of Adderall. Uh, Helps you get off it, to be honest. Danny, I'm so glad you're with us. We're about to watch a bunch of comedians. You've done this show before. We're going to have so much fun. Anything can happen. Uh, you guys know how it works. A bunch of people signed up before the show. If I pull their name out of the bucket, they get 60 seconds uninterrupted. You know your 60 seconds is up when you hear the sound of a kitten. That means wrap it up then or else you're going to bring out the angry West Hollywood bear. And we don't want that. We don't want that, so don't do that. You guys ready to start tonight's show? Well, normally we would start the show by pulling a name out of the bucket and meeting a stranger, but instead we're going to do something really fucking cool to start tonight's show. Uh, this guy is the brand spanking newest regular here on Kill Tony. That was announced here last week, live. A brand new regular, and some of you here are going to see him for the very first time. We absolutely love him. This guy's a grinder. He's going to be a fucking monster. He already is. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you, with a brand new 60 seconds, the debut of regular Hans Kim, everyone. Here he is. Hello. Good to be here. My name is Hans Kim. I'm the brand new regular on Kill Fucking Tony. I'd have to say my success is owed to 10% hitting the mics hard, 10% writing, 80% being Asian at the right time. <laughs> Just let Peng Dang do all the work and float right in. Good looking out, brother Asian. I live in a van so that I can pursue comedy full-time, uh, which makes dating really hard because ladies love shelter. It's like this whole thing with them. <laughs> so even if a date goes well, what usually ends up happening is we go for a drive until I can work up the courage to tell her we arrived 45 minutes ago. <laughs> Surprise. I used to date this Puerto Rican girl who used to squirt a lot. I call her my Puerto Rican. <laughs> Thank you. What? Hans Kim, everybody. 
a squirt a Rican. Is that true? Uh, I didn't know Asian guys could make women squirt. <laughs> Is that true? Hitachi. <laughs> oh, Hitachi. <laughs> Fuck I yeah. Love it. You get a discount on those. It's all us. Hell yeah, dude. I love it. Hans, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. Indeed. Look at this. A new family member here on this show. New blood. So many questions I could ask that I want to ask. We know barely anything about you. Is that true that you had a Puerto Rican girlfriend or is that a joke? No, that's just a joke. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. (laughs) So I was right. You never made anybody squirt. (laughs) I'm like a sewing machine. I'm like... (laughs) What was your longest relationship that you've had? Six months. Ooh. White girl? Huh? White girl? White girl, yeah. Oh, wow. She was like 38. Oh, okay. I knew there... There always has to be something, you know what I mean? An Asian can't ever pull just a normal white girl his age, normal white girl, no mental health problems. You were a fetish, weren't you? (laughs) Yeah. Most of the girls I date have an Asian man fetish from the movie Hook. Really? Yeah. (laughs) I didn't even remember any. (laughs) What the fuck? fuck are you guys talking about? It's been too long since I've seen Hook. <laughs> Jeez. You, you, oh, yeah. D-Madness got me again. Sometimes I forget he's blind. He's like, I've never seen Hook. I'm like, really? Right. That's right. He's never seen fucking anything. Uh, he's like, I, I hate that movie. Love the soundtrack, though. Uh, <laughs> Hans Kim, so let's talk about it. What's something interesting that you think we should know about you, like right off the bat, since we know almost nothing about you? We know that you're South Korean. Uh huh. Two weeks ago, I had you play a Chinese guy. Uh, <laughs> you sang the national anthem, and you did such a good job. Paid some dues, and look at you now. Um, so what should we know about you, Hans? I'm a communist. <laughs> okay. I got beat up by the cops. Oh, wow. Uh, How'd you get beat up by the cops? I was high on acid on the side of the road. <laughs> trying to flag cars. Really? Down. Like female yeah. bike cops or what? <laughs> Bunch of tall midgets. Uh, oh, hold on a second. What were you doing on acid on the sidewalk? I was uh, driving a motor vehicle on acid and then I just I found myself on the side of the road on the highway on ramp you like pulled off yeah apparently I don't remember it though okay okay typical just Asian driver has no idea (laughs) has no idea what's going on lord knows there were no fucking hazard lights or anything like that going on (laughs) that's you we have actual video of that's an actual, actual audio. I said actual video. Did you, what, like, did you get DUI or what happened? No, they just beat me up, uh, sent me to the hospital, <laughs> stole my phone, dropped all charges. Wow. Yeah. Seattle. That, Seattle, Washington. Wow. That's how boring Seattle is. The only race they have to beat up is Asian people. That's fucking, <laughs> that's something else. It's not even a challenge. Danny Brown, what, what do you think about Hans Kim, man? What do you think about getting beat up by the cops? You know what that's like, right? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, he kind of sounded like he deserved to get his ass whooped. You know what I'm saying? But uh, did, did the squirt taste like Topo Chico? <laughs> <laughs> Despacito. What is, what is your love, current love life like, Hans? Just out there dating? Um, just fucking... Yeah, I'm just plowing the field. Um, wow. Jeez, doesn't get much more South Korean than that. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, had, I had relations with two African-American women. Get the fuck Bye. out of here! <laughs> That's the most... That is unbelievable. What, what kind of relations did you have with them? They let you through TSA once or something like that? Like... <laughs> What are we talking about here? I had vaginal intercourse with both of them. Really? Yeah. Oh my goodness! How does that happen? Where did you meet one of the? Uh, let's start. I with, always wondered. It's like, how does that happen? Yeah. Where do you meet these girls? It's hard for me to have I sex know. with black girls. So all right. <laughs> Hans will show you some tricks. You gotta. 
You gotta confuse them with your dick slash clitoris. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's what they're they're telling their friends. Girl, I had I had sex with a Asian woman the other day. <laughs> so like, what happened? Where'd you meet these girls? At a comedy open mic, she was a comedian who'd done it for a couple times. Uh-huh. And then she was like, oh, sorry, I blocked your camera with my chair that one time. Let me buy you a drink. And then we just kept drinking and touched her underwear. It was pretty hot. You touched her underwear? <laughs> yeah. Wow. That's an interesting first move. <laughs> you made it sound like you didn't touch anything else along the way. Like somehow you were just like, let me just start there. <laughs> So uh, where did you touch her underwear? In the comedy club? In your yeah, car? Right over uh, there. Uh, pulled off. <laughs> wow, here at Vulcan Gas yeah. Company. Magic <laughs> happens here, people. This is where the magic happens. Some people call this the Vulcan Ass Company. You get so lucky here. <laughs> wow, so what happened right over there? You touched her underwear. Yeah. And then where did you guys have sex at? What part of this club did you have sex with? Her? <laughs> In her hotel room, Best Western. Wow. Oh, Looking fancy, huh? Hell yeah. <laughs> and then my car got crashed into because I left it on 7th Street overnight. Oh, and... super Asian. <laughs> Blaming it on a hit and run there, huh? <laughs> Little do you know, you caused that car accident. <laughs> Have you got your car fixed? I know it's been uh, just pretty... Where have you been living, by the way? At uh, my friend Riley Gilmore's house. Oh, wow. Yeah. I really dropped a name there. Look <laughs> at that. Or, shout outs to Rodney Gilmore. Uh, <laughs> Social security number 374215. <laughs> wow. What's uh, your situation? A one-bedroom, two-bedroom? Uh, he has four bedrooms, and two of his rooms are empty. So we're, I kind of paid. One of the roommates is out of town. She's this female African American lady. Wow! Uh, look at that. Such proper verbiage wow. there. You, you, a female African American of American a descent trend. and African skin color. <laughs> like you're so proper. Female African American lady. Yeah. Um, yeah. And uh, yeah. When you I say have... it like that, when you say like she's just a female African American, it makes us think like you call her an N word behind her back <laughs> when she's <laughs> when she's back in town or something <laughs> like that. Oh, just this one roommate, you know, she's a female African American. <laughs> you know those people. Uh... Wow, I love it. You like her? Are you guys cool? I mean, you're gonna make a move on her at some point. She's like pretty religiously fanatic. Uh, I, I, I'm pr I, I don't think that, I think she's like a little not normal all the time oh. but she's not very nice to me but she thinks Riley's hacking her computer oh <laughs> you think he is? no <laughs> she, she, I think she's like she's a little crazy uh, but not in a bad way I've never heard of a religious fanatic being crazy at all no, no, one, no one that I know that believes in religion is weird at all I love it. So, wow, Hans, look at you. So you're just single. You're out here playing the field, doing a lot of spots. You're killing everywhere you go. Everybody's talking about Hans Kim. That's so fun, man. Well, this was a great first set for you here tonight. I'm very excited about, uh, you know, it's just the future is amongst us. Thank you so much. Everybody loves him. It's Hans Kim, everybody, getting the night started for us. Your new... Kill Tony regular. Uh, I'm so happy about that. Man. Me too. He, he's really hilarious. What a breath of fresh error. Fresh? Fresh error. Error. You guys ready for this fucking bucket, huh? This is where the strange shit goes down. This is where anything can happen. These aren't people that we know that we strategically decided to have up here. This is where shit can go off the rails real fucking quick. Your first comedian getting an uninterrupted 60 seconds tonight out of the bucket goes by the name of James Henderson. Here we go, everyone. James Henderson. How are we doing, Vulcan? One more time for James, everyone. It's great to follow uh, Hans Kim. Uh, I'm a little nervous, but last time I followed Hans Kim was with an African-American lady, and I was a monster compared to him. But... Uh, <laughs> Moved here from Key West a few months ago, uh, the only place in Florida that doesn't suck. I'm here in Austin, which to me is the only place in Texas that doesn't suck, so we got that going for us. But uh, what I've noticed is that 
people lied to me about how the weather is here. They said, oh, it's warm year-round, it's great, you'll love it. I'm from Philly, so I'm used to the winter, but <laughs> fuck, you lied to me, man. It snowed. The only snow in Key West comes on a stripper's ass served to you for 50 bucks. <laughs> There's no fucking snow in Key West. But uh, you got the red rose, yellow rose, dreamers. Last time I had anything that rose was in a fucking dream. But I'm glad to be here in Austin, and I think that might be my time. <laughs> You're so wrong. You have 20 more seconds. 20 more seconds. Yeah. Okay, man. Well, this is what I get for interrupting my 14-hour troll session on the internet. I don't know if you you told me that uh, Bruce Kenner joke. Yeah, uh, Bruce. Uh, 20 what the seconds. Fuck is a long are time. you talking about? I'm gonna stop you. There's a minute oh, right shit. there. James Henderson. I like your style. He practiced at home. Clearly, he left space for laughter when he was practicing. Uh, if you could uh, tell, I didn't practice. Yeah, I love it when they're so, they're always so confident too. It's never like, and this might be the end of my minute. It's always like, and I do believe that's the end of my minute. I see like 39, 40, 41. I'm like, ah, uh, that ain't a minute, my friend. I love it. Look at you. Nice. Look at you. What did you say about trolling? I said that you look like the you guy that trolls your... me on the internet, right? Something yeah, like that. Yeah, that was a 14-hour yeah. troll session when I almost puked all over myself when you told your uh, That's when I, I Jenner met, joke. I met you. Oh, I was Just, doing stand-up. You were in and the you audience. Me out. You're like, That's oh, right. Oh, I recognize you. I'm going to roast you. That's your right, cuz you went ugh when I was talking about Caitlyn Jenner's pussy. <laughs> so I made fun of you. Exactly. And I called you a YouTube commenter on his first night out since the pandemic, something like that. That's just, that's just a sample of what you could see if you ever come catch me do stand-up comedy. I'm doing this Saturday here at Vulcan, my return headlining set since, uh, awesome. uh, since the old oh, incident, you know what I mean? The old, uh, the old fucking, you have, the, you have the law and order thing? What's the law and order thing? You have that sound effect? Is that a thing? No, we don't have it. Forget it. People's court is not law and order. It's kind of the same. <laughs> uh, I, I like your style, James. You remind me of... Uh, I liked it when you used to do the show and you'd read our psychic readings. Remember when she used to do that for us? That's just for the... Nice. That's oh, for the fans she... at home. There was a female comedian that looked exactly like you that used I, to do the I show. I get meatloaf a lot. Not really female. Meatloaf? People think I look like uh, Robert Paulson. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's what he won't. <laughs> That's what he was going for. Objects in the rearview mirror may appear closer than they are. I love it. You know it's bad when Matt Mueling's roasting you. Uh, yeah, that's, well. that's when you're in real trouble. He's just off mic, just like, you look like shit, dude. <laughs> He's right behind you when you're up here. Nothing worse than that. You don't even know how long a minute is, motherfucker. No, no clue. I tell girls I last a minute all the time, and fuck. I got James, three. tell us about your life. You really do. You really oh, look yeah. like... Uh, you I'm really... very interested. Yeah. Well, I mean, I fucked around a lot. You, know, you play like... League of Legends? Ukulele? <laughs> <laughs> League of Legends. Uh, I don't know what that is. I'm, Matt, not, I'm not a video game guy. I'm a big deadhead. Travel around the country. I'm really? Music, Grateful Dead? Guy. Absolutely. Damn. Fish. Deadhead. You know, fish. Like, oh, I see you being a fish oh, guy. some Burning yeah. Man shit Hell going yeah. on Hell yeah, you're here. a deadhead and so, a bread body. Look at you. I love yeah, it. Man. I bet you like fish, all kinds. All kinds. Yeah. That's why I moved to Key West, right? Absolutely. These are all Butter with everything. These are all fat hippie band jokes that I'm doing for those of you that are losing it here. He likes fish food from Ben and Jerry's, right? There Too you much. go. Too much. Too <laughs> much. I always think these are the type of dudes that be at swinger parties. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Whatever That's it takes it. to get laid. This is the kind of guy you see when you go to a nude. Like, yeah. when you go to the nude beach for the first time. Yeah. <laughs> It'd be these niggas, right? I'm not that inconsiderate, but just I've like babe, baby. I don't think we're gonna get out of this car. Uh, uh, yeah. Let's go I'm to a, always doing some freaky shit, but not today. What's some freaky shit that you are into? We we're positive that you're into some freaky shit. I mean, there's got to be all sorts something. of freaky, uh, like what? sexually or just sure mentally, anything, yeah. whatever. Freaky shit, I like to. Brake check truckers on the highway. This is great. You like to what? Brake check truckers on the highway. Why would you do that? That's the worst idea ever. Just here. Just here. I I'm mean, yeah. wow. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think we have a theme tonight: comedians who love causing car accidents. Uh, there you go. There you go. What else are you into when you're not brake checking truckers? I come here and check you guys out, like I would a dead show or a fish show. I like to see people develop their acts. I yeah. love it. I loved your return, man. Red band. I love watching you do great. I love watching you bomb. It's it's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Thanks, Christ! Man. Wow. Can you believe this? After this guy eats it for 40 seconds, he has the balls. Oh no! I I got my first bomb out of the way. That he has the balls first. to talk to someone that's been doing this a decade like that. How dare You're great, you? Though. Who's your favorite porn stars? 
Uh, about to be all night, man. We got only got two hours. <laughs> Danny motherfucking Brown is in the house. I normally go for the most. Well, in alphabetical see. order, it is. What decade? What year are you talking about? What time? Yeah, my phone's locked up. I don't have it memorized. Make my list. I love it. What else are you into? What other hobbies or something? Give us something about you. I we play know... a little bit of guitar. But nah, you, know, like... you don't oh, play. Shit. You don't play you? guitar. Just piquito. You. What, what do go. you know how to play on guitar? Uh, the dead. Do, what do, you do talking about? That song. See, I could probably play a few hours set. You know, but I'm not like an elite guy. What's right? like your best song? Best song. Uh, that we would know. I don't know. You guys know any dead tunes back there? Any what? That guy's probably the only. Guy. They know how to play whatever. Stop talking to them. I'm asking oh, you okay. a question. Let's, What's uh, the best song that we know that you know how to play? Shit. Friend of a, uh, Friend of the Devil? Yeah. yeah I can be what the fuck one. are you Definitely requesting man. for? <laughs> I literally, when I ask someone a question, I'm not hoping, like, man, I hope Red Band no, no, comes up with an he answer. He says he knows how to play dead songs. Yeah, so but I why are you requesting? The... I don't even fuck, I want him to answer Red Band. I ask them questions that for was him his to request. answer. That's what Red Band want to hear. Yeah. What's the most popular song that this audience would know? Eyes of the World? Anyone? I can't sing, so it's going to get lost real quick. Eyes of the World. Are you making fun of D-Madness back here? Got it. But we can do Friend of the Devil. Mm-hmm. Matt, what do you, Matt, what do you think? Do you want to give this guy a shot or no? We don't know any They don't know any Grateful Dead. Again, I don't know why you checked in with them. You ruined it from the very beginning. I don't know why everybody panics when I could... I'm in full control up here. I'm but you, a lot. I'm hey, uh, you guys, uh, you guys know the, any of uh, dead songs? It's like I asked you what you know how to fucking play, and you immediately go to professional musicians. That's a hell of a point. You son of a bitch! I wanted to see you do bad at two art forms up here tonight. I, th- I thought I was excelling at doing this badly. I, th- I thought you were thrilled, you know. I love it. I like your style. You ever uh, eat a girl's ass? Yeah. It, it happens, right? You know, you get in the heat of the moment, just go crazy. You like that, or are you not into that? If they're into it, I'm into it. What's something, that, me, what's me, something right? that you're not into sexually? Uh, male butt sex. Okie dokie. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Jesus, James. Wow, you, you, you disappointed Tony. Yeah, that's... Yeah. <laughs> you guys. You guys got me. Red Band got his revenge there. Red Band got his revenge for me getting mad at him answering fucking this guy's questions. Everybody's happy now. What a comeback story. <laughs> I just picked out the only dead song that would, would sound good to I play guitar. I should have ran with it, man. Yeah, that's, that's, I'm taking notes in the head. I got How far, it, with a stomach like that, isn't the guitar like way out there when you're playing it? You're just like, the, the acoustic one, you can't look. It, it becomes a fiddle. You got to like do it. feel. It's kind of like a fiddle. I like it. All right, uh, James Henderson. Well, thank you so much. Fun times, dude. All different shapes and sizes of people here. Danny Brown's with us. We're having fun up here tonight. Oh, wait, James, come back up here. James, get up here. We have these amazing uh, joke books, handmade, Kill Tony joke books, made by Adrian Cavazos, at Bonesy, B-O-N-E-Z-E-Y-E on Instagram. You got to check them out. These smell good. You smell those? Handmade leather. Incredible work. The good comedians get big ones. The bad comedians get little tiny Kill Tony ones. James, there you go, buddy. 40 seconds from James Henderson. My guys out there. My boys. The Nether Hour is here, everybody. Oh, yeah. Some celebrities in the audience always here at Kill Tony. It's always a scene. You guys having fun out there? All right, your next comedian goes by the name of Brett Forte, everyone. Here we go, Brett Forte. Remember Brett? I think I do remember Brett. He's just here, right? Yeah. These people in Austin all get lucky. He's like, the it's Canadian like, guy. Always. Oh, here he is. Uh-oh. We remember Brett. It's Brett Forte. I've been here three weeks. I've seen a lot of trends. This one's big in Austin, the septum piercing among women. I don't see it here tonight. Back me up on it. How come every woman I meet with a septum piercing turns out to be a vegan every time, right? It's like 90% accurate, right? It's just a little funny to me. It's like, oh, you won't eat the cow, but you'll dress up like one. (laughs) Oh, my under 30s. Beep-boop, beep-boop. I can't make jokes. 
We're sensitive. There was se- anyone here over 40, right? Fellas, you guys had a saying in your day. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but what? Words will never hurt me. That's right. Under 30s are going, sticks and stones are a part of nature. <laughs> These were good sayings, but we got to update them all, don't we? Hey, Bob's your uncle. That's good. Well, times have changed. Bob's now your aunt. (laughs) (laughs) Sensitivities are changing. Genders are changing. Women's eyebrows are changing. (laughs) I don't have enough time to finish the joke, but you know. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. We'll call off the bear. You go ahead. Women's eyebrows are changing. Well, I don't know. Like, let's look at a, a, a classic uh, a woman, anyone over 40 here in the front row, right? Jesus. I see some beautiful... I, what's your name, sweetheart? Okay, I'm going to stop this right here. You're right. <laughs> Obviously, you were right. You don't have enough time to finish this joke. I, I don't know why you're insulting people that paid extra money for good seats at a comedy show, but... Son of a bitch. It's going to be a compliment. You don't need to do crowd work on fucking... (laughs) You're Canadian, right, Brett? Yes. Yeah, I'm not going to let you come and talk to my American (laughs) friends this way. You know what I'm saying? That's racist. And if anyone knows what's racist and what's not, it's me. I promise you that. Son of a bitch. I'm going to have to make these jokes for the rest of my life. God damn it. Welcome back to the show, Brett. You're a Thank silly, you. goofy Canadian guy. Good, solid Correct. jokes. You had a good set one, uh, two weeks ago, right? Yeah, an yeah. all right set. Yeah. yeah. I, you know, the one minute thing is a real challenge, and I applaud anyone that comes up here and crushes it, like Hans Kim, William Montgomery, because yeah, it's we a completely know. different yeah. muscle. Here I am trying to do crowd work in a one minute set. It's fun. I know, I yeah. know. Yeah, you're absolutely right. It's hard. It's not easy. That's the beauty in it, is that people get to watch people uh, come up here and struggle. But mm-hmm. you're extremely talented for a Canadian. <laughs> Ridiculously talented. I mean, this is like Canada's got talent. Wait, you're Canadian? Haley is? Really? A Canadian stripper? Get the fuck out. Really? What? What are you showing me? What Your fucking that? ankle? I just saw a crab crawl out Martin. of there. <laughs> <laughs> fucking <laughs> unbelievable. That's a crawfish. Yeah. Canadian show. Oh, look at the Canadians excited. They found a Canadian stripper down here. Look at this fucking guy. Well, Red Rose, Yellow Rose. How about a hand for the great Kaylee is back, everybody. She had a... She had an incident two weeks ago where a pair of sunglasses went up her nose at a party, so she couldn't come to the show because a pair of sunglasses went up her nose. The arm part of sunglasses, and we totally believe you, Kaylee. That's yeah. how you got that nosebleed. Not a cocaine infection. Not at all. Absolutely. Look at this fucking guy. They, they, Canadians can't help themselves from being goofy. Look at this guy just standing here like, oh, indeed. Look at you. I love it. So tell us, what do you do for work, Brett? I can't remember a thing stand about up, you. Man. I tour in Canada. Yeah. So right, I'm, that's yeah. right. Your yeah. answer was that you're a full-time stand-up comedian. How much yeah. longer are you in Texas for? Uh, I'm going to be here for a couple months. couple and, months? Uh, Go Jesus, back we're just Canada. giving these fucking visas to anybody nowadays, huh? I mean, oh or you just kind of drive over the border. You can't drive. You have to fly. Oh, really? Okay. If I were to go back to Canada today... You'd you have, have to stay there for two weeks. Not just two weeks. You've got to do three days of a mandatory quarantine in a hotel that's attached to the airport. It's lined in plastic. You have to schedule a 15-minute break each day on your phone. It's oh. mandatory $2,000 as well. And if I say no to it, I get $6,000 in tickets what? that I fight in court a year later. Canada sucks, yep. so dude. Fuck. Canada sucks. I'm here. I would take our health care over their bullshit any day. I'd, I'd, rather, I'd rather give a doctor $40,000 than pay the government 6000 to come back into my country. The fuck? What's going but, on up there? Those people are in a panic. But I met the cab, first cab driver I had here. He goes, oh, you're from Canada? I go, yeah. He goes, oh, free abortions. <laughs> in Canada? He's not wrong. This is the only girl you can come in in this whole city. <laughs> okay. All right, Brett. I swear to God, you try to roast another American, I'm going to fucking slit your throat. Kaylee, sit down, sit down, sit down. <laughs> so you can't talk to fucking drunk fucking little coked up strippers like that. <laughs> She's going she's gonna to talk for the next two hours because you woke the demon seat up. 
It's a little live wire over here doing shots of tequila. Sorry, eh? Sorry. All right, relax, Brett, you goofy motherfucker. Brett, have you had sex with an American girl since you've been here? You have, you have the vibes of, you have a sex addict vibe to you. You have those little fucking Canadian fucking man on fire type of vibes, you know what I mean? I had sex with her. You didn't have sex with her, Brett. That's fucking... No, he might have. <laughs> Are you serious? Oh, her. Oh, You're pointing well, at yeah, her. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> That makes sense. I thought you meant Kaylee. I'm like, there's no way. But yeah, the little exchange rate girl next to her. That makes sense. You could get, you could. <laughs> yeah, you could fucking, you could, you could, you could get a. You, I, that makes sense, right? I could see that. There was no way you fucked Kaylee though. There's no way. And and she she puts sunglasses up her nose, but she would never let a Canadian penis inside of her. She ran away for a reason. Uh, how'd you two meet? How'd you meet this girl? At the strip club? I believe the club that you work at. Right, yeah. Uh -huh. So the answer is yes. Over here, over here, no crowd work. It was, so it was at the strip club. And then what? You went back to your place, her place? Yeah, I'm at an Airbnb, so hers, yeah. Wow, okay. What was your next move? What happened? Did you guys Netflix and chill? What happened there? I believe we watched. Don't two say you believe. <laughs> There's no believing here. This isn't the never ending fucking story, okay? There's no magical, whimsical, once upon a time. I'm asking you directly. So you went into her apartment, then what happened? We watched uh, two episodes of uh, Parks and Rec, and you karaoke oh, wow. the entire it... thing. You knew every <laughs> lyric of two episodes. What a fucking loser. <laughs> I mean, of all the this shit to watch. Aziz. This is like a Aziz movie. There, there, there's nothing worse than having to watch bullshit before fucking, you know what I mean? But Parks and Rec, I mean, how do you get hard after think, watching two episodes of Parks I and Rec? I think he put it on. <laughs> he was like, let's watch this shit. I love it. Don't I look like Aziz? <laughs> he does. He does. He does. He has Aziz vibes for sure. How dare you? So two, two episodes of Parks and Rec. He's Canadian, though, so he's Aziz. I'm sorry. <laughs> Canadian. 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 <laughs> Yee-hoo! Austin, Texas. Fist bumping other people for my jokes. Thank you. <laughs> All right, Brett. Well, we had fun with you, dude. You know what? I would like to have you again on The Secret Show hey. Thursday. Oh. Brett Forte. There he goes, everybody. He's on Instagram at Brett Forte. F-O-R-T-E. And the red man said he can pussy fuck the that. Great Bring him back. You guys both red rose, right? Or red rose, yeah. yellow rose? You're no. red rose, she's yellow rose? No. You're just saying I mean, no to anything. Say, no, she's uh. Oh, okay. Right, we don't say that name at all. Clearly, they're the strip club that has flat-chested girls at it, though, so. She's a, she's a cocktail waitress. I'm just kidding. You relax, relax, relax. Can we get some Xanax for the coked-up girls in the front row? Pull out another name out of the bucket. Make some noise for Kyle Doty, everyone. Kyle Doty, perhaps Doughty, but definitely Doty. We love the Red Rose or the Yellow Rose. The only two strip clubs in Austin, Texas. No doubt about it. Here he is one more time for Kyle Doty, everyone. Yeah. How's it going, guys? So, uh, I was a little child growing up. My dad had five kids in four years. He has the pull-out game of a couch. Just a normal couch. There's no bed in there. My dad comes in pussy. That's what I'm saying. Uh... Yeah, I was a middle child, and I grew up with four sisters. Growing up with all sisters, you learn an important lesson as a young man, which is you're never supposed to put your hands on a woman, right? When I was little, my sister hit me. I hit her back. My dad found out. He came in the room and hit me, and he goes, Kyle, we're men, and we never put our hands on women. And I was like, I get that, Dad, but you just punched a six-year-old, so... <laughs> kind of, I feel like I was justified. She's in my weight class. I was protecting myself. You assaulted a small child. I feel like, how am I the wrong one here? Now I'm confused on who I can and can't punch out in public, you know? I was at the mall the other day, and I got an argument with this woman, and she spit on me. She took her mask down, and she spit on me. And I wanted to hit her, but I didn't, because I remember that lesson. Never put your hands on a woman. So I punched her son right in the fucking head, dude. <laughs> I just... <laughs> 
Kyle Doty saving it all at the very end. Yikes. Took a minute and seven seconds, and you <laughs> saved it right last minute, dude. That was good. That, that, was, good. that was like what Nate Diaz did the other night at his, uh, his fight. It's like, kind of. shit, this is crazy. And then, boom, all right, here we go. Shout out good. to our good friend and friend of Kill Tony, Nate Diaz, for stealing the show on Saturday at the UFC. This is going to be out in a couple weeks. That'll be old news, but he's a good comedy fan. Welcome to the show, Kyle. This is your first time with us, right? Second time. Oh, you're so Second memorable. Time. Glad yeah, to see you again. You. Yeah. <laughs> when was the last time? Uh, with Mark Norman and Allie. Okay. Yeah. All right. So My episode a... dropped when you got canceled. Okay. Oh, like, yeah. All right. Yeah. So it's been, thanks for remembering that. <laughs> uh, very cool. Always fun that, that to use that as a timeline. <laughs> Son of a bitch. You could have just could have just said a month ago, but I guess it's like, oh, we, I, you remember me from two cancellations ago, Tony? <laughs> Piece of shit. Jesus. So, Kyle, remind us, what do you do? You live here in Austin? Uh, I live here in Austin. I don't have a job. I'm from Columbus. Come from Columbus, Ohio. Yeah. How long have you lived in Austin? Uh, since February. Okay. What made you move here? Uh, stand up. I moved to San Diego during the pandemic, and then uh, that sucked, so I moved here with some buddies. Right. Why okay. didn't you like San Diego? Uh, I was closed down, and I don't care for sand that much. Yeah, so. California yeah. was mismanaged. That's yeah. what happened. Yeah. It got so crazy there. Caitlyn Jenner is about to be their fucking governor. That's how crazy <laughs> shit got in California. Uh, she's going to win. Yeah, no, I know. This place, they don't give a fuck here. They have a guy in a wheelchair here. Have you seen their <laughs> governor here? Have you seen their governor here? Uh, he closes yeah. out every show at Kill Tony. It's incredible. <laughs> we love him. The governor, Michael Lair. So, Kyle, how you been enjoying Austin? What's your favorite stuff out here? Uh, it's hot. The open mics suck, but the food's pretty good. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it is fucking hot. Yeah. It's been ridiculous lately. I was saying the other day, we get 15% extra in taxes, but you spend all of it on fucking bottles of water out here. Yeah. <laughs> we, we talked about this earlier. You think that the 100 degrees to, that we had today was way worse here in Austin than, than Los Angeles. There's no question about it. The humidity I mean, Los here. Los Angeles smells like piss, though. Oh, what? <laughs> like piss. Los Angeles smells like piss? Yes. yes. Dude, <laughs> if, if we're judging it? cities by smell, I don't know if you walked into this venue tonight, but uh, <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm like, I didn't realize there was barnyards around here on 6th Street, but clearly there's just, there's bum, there's bum everything. There's bum piss, sweat, and shit all around, uh, yeah, it smells all around here. here. You can still smell the... Okay, I'm not going to make that joke. Uh, wow. Too soon. Yes, I stopped oh, myself. Jesus Christ. I stopped myself. All right? It's been, it's been three days since there was a shooting. Breaking news. Tony learns how to stop himself. Uh, even in a room where phones are locked up and editing is always an option, I can still use my filter to not lose any of the fans in the room. Uh, it wasn't, totally wasn't going to be a fresh shooting joke from this week, but uh, not going to do it even if it was that. So, Kyle, <laughs> Kyle, let's talk about you. Uh, right. So, what type of job are you looking for currently? Uh, I, I used to do construction, but I like anything. I just don't want to be outside here. So You do want to be outside? I don't want to be outside here. I just want okay, to go so what are you looking for? What are you going like to do? serve or drive. I've been lifting like lift driving. Yeah, that, I know that's the kind of lifting you've been doing. <laughs> Tesla's hiring. You could like work inside. You smart at all? What do you got? Uh, no, I got like six concussions. Okay. <laughs> all right. When I asked what you got, I was expecting a type of degree or diploma, no. but what do I got? Six concussions, dude. I'm fucked, bro. I dropped out of community college. Okay. So, Nothing yeah. wrong with Hell that. Yeah. That's beautiful. I can tell. I yeah. love it. Okay. <laughs> Take your eyes off the strip. We got to move the strippers from the front <laughs> row from now on. All these fucking virginistic open mic comedians come up here and they're like, what do you think? Is right. it cool? Is it cool? Am I cool? Am I doing okay? <laughs> You're not going to bang the strippers, guys. This is how they are in the club, too, aren't they? They all think they're the ones. <laughs> Look at him. He's <laughs> playing it cool, getting nervous, ah. doesn't know whether to laugh or frown over here. <laughs> Kyle, what's the most interesting thing about you that we haven't found out yet? Oh, yeah, I haven't found out. Um, I mean, I just told you I had six concussions, so I probably forgot most of the interesting things about me. Wait, what are the concussions from? Uh, 
football outside. I bought a I bought a car one time with a concussion. I don't remember buying. I just woke up with it. Uh, <laughs> Yikes! That's how most Kias get sold. <laughs> Yeah, still got it. Um, yeah, I, I did. Uh, I did a bunch of Robitussin one time and passed out and broke a toilet with my head. Oh, Robo wow. tripping. Yeah, 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 yeah Robo tripping. Yeah. Robo tripping. Yeah. The purple. He was really, yeah. literally, fucking tripping on the scissor. <laughs> no man, that ain't no scissor. That's Robitussin. It's different. Definitely different. Explain to us the difference, Danny Brown. I'm glad I, I'm glad I have my, I'm, I have my chief sister correspondent, hey, Danny Brown, here on this scene. All right, yeah, we got a few niggas, so yeah, break it down. So yeah, okay, we in Texas, and in Texas, syrup is considered promethazine and codeine, and what he was drinking was just Robitussin, and then Robitussin is just that tussin. Now some people like to drink tussin. You can get it green, you can get it yellow. Some people call it snot. I mean, back in the you know, early days, like in Philadelphia, like Memphis, you know, they used to drink lean like that. But in Texas, it's promethazine and codeine, and that's where the Nori syrup came from. So wow. That's how it was gonna go. <laughs> I fucking love this guy so much. Danny, isn't there like a whole form of rap music from Houston that's all based on that? Yeah, Screw Music. Shouts out to DJ Screw. That's Houston. Okay. Wow. Look at I'm that. Big sure. pop. Yeah, come on, man. I, I, you, 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 you know, you're in certain areas around here. You'll hear some Screw banging out a couple windows. You know what I'm saying? But in Houston, for sure, man, we got the fifth wheel. You're swinging in that motherfucker. Shouts out to Paul Wall and all my niggas out there, man. Wow. B King. Shouts out to B King. That's my dog. Damn, look at that. <laughs> Two comedians in a row sipping on syrup. The last comedian no, only sipped tussin. on maple syrup. But there we go. <laughs> Canada. Kyle, I love it. So you don't remember anything interesting, so I'll just uh, cut it short, dude. You did it. You came up here. You did a good job. And since you brought it all home at the end, we'll go with a big joke book yeah. for you. There you go. Kill Tony from our friend Bonesai. King Adrian Cavazos. We're having fun here. We're having fun here. Can I get a delicious Crown Royal, please? You could tell this one's like a girlfriend that was brought here that doesn't know or even like the show at all, but her boyfriend's a big fan. Am I right? No? You know where you're at right now? Can I get two, one? Yeah, what? D Madness. Oh, D Madness wants a crown and coke, everybody. We're yeah. gonna fucking I, a beautiful. We're gonna crown get him. Coke. We're gonna get him wasted tonight. Still a better driver than Hans Kim. A fun fact for you. Your next comedian goes by the name of. R <laughs> I love it when he laughs. He's the best. Your next comedian goes by the name of Rochalim Dos Santos. Rochalim. Dos Santos. Let's see what happens here. It's a definitely a new name. I'd remember that one for sure. Hell yeah. Come on, one more time for Rochalim Dos Santos. Hey, guys. I'm Rochalim Dos Santos. By my accent, you can tell I'm not from here, right? You're right. I'm from Alabama. <laughs> I'm from the dirty south, guys. <laughs> it's, it's really deep. It's, it's Brazil, South America. I see a lot of civilians here tonight. I was in the army, right? Because I'm Brazilian, every time I tell someone I was in the army, they ask me, was in Brazilian army? Bro, why I would tell you I was in Brazilian army? Brazil hasn't been in war for 100 years. We don't have matching uniforms. <laughs> One guy wear a green shirt, another guy wear flip flop and speedos. <laughs> Picture that, the entire army wearing flip flop and speedos and coconut as helmet. <laughs> you gotta group that shit. So we don't, get, we don't have good arm though, but we got good hookers. So that's it. No, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> Thank you guys. He's funny, he's funny. I'll fuck with you. Yeah. Come on, people, make some noise for Roja Limdo Santos. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. You did it, bro. You That's fucking funny. did it. Joke, 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 joke. Look at you. 
Ooh. You're fucking doing it, dude. How long you been doing stand-up comedy? Um, that's a trick question right now, but I started in 2019. Uh-huh. Because of COVID, I shut it down. Okay. And I started by um, February, about six, seven months. If it, okay. I pull out at 73. Okay, Michael Gonzalez, can you translate that for me? Uh, <laughs> 2018. <laughs> I knew, I knew you would make fun of me. Oh, you did? You son of a bitch. Oh. This guy's funny, dude. This guy's funny. I like your style, man. What do you do for work? How do you make a living? Uh, I'm a network engineer. A what? Network engineer. A network engineer. Who you, yeah. you work for like Google Fiber or something? Uh, no, I work for a healthcare organization here. I do okay. network and ne- network security as well. Okay. Hey, don't let this accent fool you, dude. He knows IP addresses. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You're a smart guy is what you're saying. Yeah, quite. Okay. Absolutely. How, how long have you been in America? Uh, since 2003. How, what made you come here? How'd you get here? So I start working. Uh, in, I went to San Diego when I came to America. Yeah, uh-huh. We have a friend. They have a that, business. That is a beach. I understand how you got here. <laughs> <laughs> you took a weird path from uh, yeah. Brazil, but... Yeah. I'm a, I'm a good swimmer. Yeah. I love it. So you started in San Diego. How'd you end up in Austin? So I, I joined the Army, this for real, and I stayed in the Army. The Brazilian for... Army? The uh, American Army. I don't... American Army. Okay. I didn't realize you could yeah, do that. Yeah, in Killeen. I stayed in Killeen, the Fort Hood, the base, for okay. four years. But you were born in Brazil. Yeah, I was born in Brazil. Man, the American Army takes anybody, they... huh? They don't give a fuck. <laughs> They're like, you're born in Iraq, you want to do push-ups? Let's go, bitch. You're on our side now. No. <laughs> it's funny. It's funny because the recruiter, they come to us, and, hey, man, do not join the army. You, you're in good shape. I said, yeah. And the guy told me, hey, you can't, we're not going to Iraq. It was in 2003. The war was going yeah. on. And I believe him. And I joined the army in October. It was April. I was in Iraq. Wow. <laughs> Look at that out there looking like an Iraqi soldier until you spoke. <laughs> Those American soldiers that weren't in his camp must have saw him yeah. and been like, hey, there's one in our uniform over here. You know, it's funny <laughs> because they used to confuse me with the translator, the Iraq translator. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <sighs> I bet. They're like, fuck it, this guy doesn't even know how to speak English. He's not a translator at all. <laughs> wow, I love it. You fucking only speak Harry Belafonte over here. <laughs> you're Real Romero. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're El Romero. You know jujitsu or any cool Brazilian shit? Uh, a little bit. Oh, you do? Shit. You have yeah. a green belt? Is that what you said? Uh, no, I never. Uh, I mean, like the white belt. I mean, okay. first degree white belt. Okay. All right. I know, I know what he that's did, like. He didn't get it. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get it. <laughs> you motherfucker. All right. All right, Red Band. I'm not a dead soldier. Jesus Christ. Man, you guys can't wait to bury me tonight, huh? People hate confidence out here, I'm telling you. Hell yeah. What's your luck with the ladies? Like, you seem like a suave motherfucker, right? You seem like the kind of guy... <laughs> you, seem, you seem like the kind of guy that brings, like, rose petals to a first date, like, just in case. Foga de chow. You know, I'm in marriage right now, but I can... I can You're married? Yeah, I'm How married. How long have you been married for? Um, for about three years. Okay. You over it already? <laughs> uh, I, I would say uh, I'm in marriage, but I was to pull bitches. You used to. <laughs> you used to. Is, uh, my, my, is it a Brazilian woman? woman? Uh, no, she, she's American. Uh, she's so white. she doesn't have the ass that you're used to. <laughs> but she's very smart, though. She's very smart. She is? <laughs> she's smart? Uh, it's funny because I, I have this broken English, and my wife, she's a writer. Yeah. A writer? Yeah. What, what did she write? Yeah, she released a book. The book name is Talon and the Tree. Talon and the Tree. Yeah, look oh. it up. Okay, well, look it up. <laughs> How do you spell Talon? Because the way you say it, it could literally be T- anything. 
T. Okay, let me spell. T A L I N. L. Yeah, I know. Uh, if everything I was am. bad here, at least I got this gig here for my wife. <laughs> Literally nothing comes up. Family tree results for the name Talim. Yeah, you look, Stephanie Dos Santos, Talim in the tree. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Do we have to know your fucking Yahoo password too to find it? You trying to send us an email, dude? I love it. So, uh, how do you say your first name? How do you say it? Rojalim? Ro- Rajalim. Rajalim. Yeah. Absolutely. What does that mean? Um, regular name. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> I, don't know. I thought it was yeah. going to be some cool Brazilian uh, shit. It's a Brazilian name. I found the book. It's got five stars. Whoa. Whoa. Damn, dude. You're eating that smart pussy, bro. <laughs> Look at you just munching down on it. Fuck yeah. Whoa, look at that trick. He's got those fucking Brazilian tricks over here. This guy's got a Brazilian tricks up his sleeve. Everybody fist bumps Michael up here. It's like the, uh, yeah. it's like the rubbing the stump before going on at the Apollo. A fist bump from Michael. Wow, that's incredible. Roger Lim, what's the craziest thing you've ever done in your life? You have any other special uh, things that you've done? Iraqi. There you so, go, okay. Uh, I was in Iraq, right? So yeah, but I ate weird pussy also. You what? I ate wei- weird pussies. You ate weird pussies? Are you just are you just telling me something you think I'm gonna like? <laughs> Where did you no, eat no. a weird? Where did no, you eat no. a weird pussy no. at? No, this is a hack. Uh, <laughs> This is just a hack. I'll just bullshit. Okay, Roger Lim, you have any other special skills or talents? You know, like magic tricks or music or sing something? You sing ever? Uh, no, I don't sing. I, I, I'm a photographer. Okay. Um, That's extra boring. Uh, I'm very boring, yeah. It's 2021. We're all photographers, yeah. bro. <laughs> what else? What else other than photography? Something else? You ever rap or do uh, poetry? or? I do poetry. Really? Will you read us a poem? No, I, I don't. I just oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Remember, always honesty is always the good answer. Uh, you have any animals? Yeah, I'm a dog lover. Really? Yeah. What, you have a dog? Oh, yeah. Two of them. Two of them? What kind of dogs do you have? It's a lab. It's a brown lab. And another one I don't even know. Just stray dog. Okay, stray dog. <laughs> Extra Brazilian. Yeah, Trevor. Let right me, there. Hey, let me shout out to Trevor and Blitz. They're my dogs. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Shout out to the dog sitter. All right. There, we have the dogs on the line right now. Is there anything you'd like to say to your dog? Guys, I love you. What it, there, there you go. There you go. There goes Roger Limdo Santos, everybody. No doubt about it. You're getting the big joke, Buck. Let's do it. Oh, yeah. There he is. How about one more time for Roger Lim Dos Santos, everybody? Yeah. Guys, it's time to do something else fun. We have another regular on this show, ladies and gentlemen. He moved to Austin, Texas recently. Unlike Hans Kim, the newest regular, this guy is not only the longest resident regular, but he's also the longest resident regular in the history of of Kill Tony. This guy recently just started this month opening for Joe Rogan, and he's going to debut a new minute for you right now when I bring up the big red machine, the one, the only, William Montgomery, everybody. Oh, shit. Here he comes. My dog, that's my dog. Come on, make some noise for William Montgomery, everybody. Thank you for the K2. <laughs> I thought I'd do some movie reviews real quick. Uh, Gremlins, their dad got stuck in the chimney pretending to be Santa Claus. Yeah, I'm guessing this family is dumb. Pass. <laughs> Hook, starring Robin Williams, where he's a man that has an inner child. I think I saw this movie the first time when it was called a Robin Williams movie. Pass. 
Schindler's List. Needs more action scenes, less anorexic nudity. Next. <laughs> Honey, I blew up the kid. Guess what? Deserve the Oscar. Next. Boss Baby 2, we need a black Boss Baby movie. Until then, I'm not watching. Next. <laughs> Darkest Hour, starring Gary Oldman as Winston Churchill. We need a black Winston Churchill movie. Until then, I'm not watching. Next. <laughs> Fern Gully, we still have a rainforest, so quit trying to guilt trip me for burning down trees in California. <laughs> Next. Wow, yeah, William Montgomery. I told him to shut off the cat for you. I wanted to see exactly how far you were gonna go with that. That was absolutely incredible. This is a uh, two, or, two or three weeks sober William Montgomery we're dealing yes. with here. On a whole new level. 24 days. We can put him up anywhere in the show now. He doesn't have to start the show. <laughs> we used to have him start the show because he gets so shit-faced during the show that... Uh, <laughs> I remember. But now, look at you. You're all grown up. Look like you're ready to go on the first fucking cruise. I did, yeah. My gut has gotten smaller, which is exciting. That is true. For those no, I'm kidding. It still looks horrible. Look at this thing. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> you look like you were born on a cruise ship. <laughs> You have a real look to you, my friend. I like the slick back hair look. Like, yeah. why don't you just shave it all off, though? No, no one wants him to shave his head. What the fuck did you just say, Red Band? Yeah, take fashion Dumbass. advice from fucking Red Band over here. Yeah, shut the fuck up. <laughs> why would you fucking say that to me? Because <laughs> you look bald already. Why would you fucking no, say Red that Band, to me? Red Band, stop it. Piece of shit. Jesus, Red Band. Seriously, why would you fucking say that? Oh, William, looking like he's ready to get physical over here. You might bust yeah, one bullshit. of those. William, relax. I don't want those it's buttons. bullshit. William, I don't want the buttons on your shirt shooting okay. out into the audience. So. <laughs> relax, everybody relax. Band, relax. They're trying to play Rocky music over here. This is like fucking Rocky Road Balboa over here. <laughs> William, how do you keep that gut? What have you been eating? How do you, oh, man, what <laughs> happened? Bowling I balls? Eating? Bowling ball. I Red Band, you cannot make fat jokes. <laughs> <laughs> you're not allowed to do yeah, that. I can. Just because you're hiding behind that table <laughs> right now doesn't mean... Bring a table, William. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? He's saying bring a table with you to block your belly and yeah, I get you'll it. be even steel. Yeah, I get it. What have you been eating here in Austin, Texas? Do you have any favorite restaurants? Chez Z, CM Smokehouse? What are we talking about? Uh, -E what a burger. Oh, look at what that. burger. And Dan's. Y'all go to Dan's? What do you get from Whataburger, William? What's your big order? A double Whataburger. Wow. Man, you got to get that chicken biscuit, man. That motherfucking honey yeah. butter, man. Oh, shit. Make some noise for that honey butter, man. Oh, yeah. Mushroom Swiss. Those. What about the, uh, any fans of the A1 hamburger of that? Okay, just me and Matt Muling. All right, cool. Last time I ordered Love that you, piece of shit burger. <laughs> chicken biscuits, man. Them chicken biscuits, man. Chicken biscuits. I love that. All right. You see, you see the crowd love it. All right. I, I, I only take chick, my chicken advice from Danny Brown, so I'm going to try it this week. Pluckers, a bad motherfucker. How about, how about you, Danny? I asked Joe Rogan if he does his own grocery shopping. Do you do your own grocery shopping? No, not for the most part. My girl do most of the shopping, but um, I mean, we you know we do the delivery thing. Okay, you do a lot of delivery, grocery yeah. like Amazon. I mean, you know fresh. me, man. I'm an air fryer champ. You know what I'm That's saying? That's true. So, I'm gonna yeah. tell you guys. I celebrated a birthday. I celebrated a birthday last week, and Danny Brown got me a motherfucking air fryer. Fuck everybody. Yeah. So I'm brand Welcome new. To the team. That's just the bomb, man. It really Welcome is. To the team. It's like a fucking Tesla microwave or something like that. I love that shit. I have an air fryer too. You do? Yeah, yeah I really yeah. like it. That's good. I what was the what was what was the best thing you made in it? Probably some salmon, but I too, uh, put too much Tony Shashery sauce on it, <laughs> and it was way too salty, and I've had to fucking throw it away. It was sad. You it put was very the, sad. You just put a raw salmon in your air fryer? Hell yeah, you can do yes, that a lot. Really? Yeah, nigga, what you talking about? Yeah, it turned out good. That's how it works. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 
I just put raw chicken wings in there. It's fucking awesome, man. That's how it works. Oh, my God. That's incredible. I just thought it was for, like, reheating stuff. I didn't think I, didn't think I could cook things in there. Hey, are you? My God, all right. Get your recipes on TikTok. All right, okay, cool. fine. William, what else has been going on this week since we, got, we last saw I got you? a robot vacuum. You did? You got a little Roomba? Roomba? Yeah. yeah, and I, I will sit down and watch that thing for like four hours at a time. Wow. It's like my pet. I don't have a pet, but it's like my pet. Yeah. It's my pet robot. That's official. William has definitely switched from alcohol to marijuana. <laughs> if you can stare at a Roomba for four hours at a time, you might be high. That's my Jeff Foxworthy. <laughs> if you... <laughs> I like it. You've been smoking a lot of pot. What else do you do while uh, being stoned? You, cause do, for those of you that might not know, William was a heavy day drinker. Now he's a heavy pot smoker. Sometimes he's just a heavy eater. <laughs> Whatever he does is heavy. I've been uh, having a lot of sex on the ground. Sex on the ground? I have. It's kind of wow, hard that's, for me that's, to get That's up, one of the though. weirdest drinks really you is. can order at a bar. Yeah. I'll have a sex on the ground, please. <laughs> Can I have a carpet burns, please? <laughs> Too old for that shit. That fuck up your knees, man. Yeah, bad on the knees, bad on the back. Why on the ground and not the bed? You just don't want to ruin the bed? I don't know. Good question. It's just I've been doing it on the ground a lot. Which ground? Your know. bedroom bedroom ground? Kitchen ground? Uh, in the main room ground. Oh, you just want to see the room bug like, clean up I all that shit. Yeah, <laughs> dude. This guy's eating the Roomba's asshole while he's fucking his girl. His Roomba yeah, sounds like Yeah, it's actually like this. just the Roomba I've been talking about. Grease was with the Roomba. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> fucking, I love it, William. <laughs> William, so, my dog. Your girlfriend liking uh, liking Austin? Yeah. The famous She's positive. Famous girlfriend of William Montgomery, as some of you fans may remember from the past, still the same girlfriend. Yeah, I mean, I think I've said it before, me not... Uh, being up till 11, 11 in the morning doing a bunch of cocaine, our relationship is much better. There you go. Who would have guessed? It's weird how that works. Who would have guessed if totally you stopped doing cocaine until 11 a.m.? Life gets better. <laughs> Tony, you know, a lot of people have been asking. We stopped checking on that red dot that was on William's belly. Oh, that's like, a good we point. We haven't looked at the red Let's dot see. in a long a lot time. Of people is it were, still there? A lot of people have been concerned about what... Many people say it's a staph infection. Many people say it's a pimple. We are about to find out right now. Look at that gut. Okay. Wow, it's much better. Wow, it's, it's just gone. a freckle now. It's like a little freckle. It's not gone. It seems worse. Wow. William, if they ever need someone to play a young Homer Simpson, I think you have the role, dude. If they ever do a Homer Simpson fucking bio... <laughs> It looks like his belly will start whistling at any time. It does. It looks like his belly button is whistling, right? <laughs> all right, William. Well, look at you. Are you not getting out in the sun at all here in Texas? No, like, I'm not. <laughs> have you, have you... I'm literally inside watching that robot. I'm not right. kidding. You can't even... I'm not kidding. Maybe you should take the Roomba outside and go for a walk <laughs> sometime with it. <laughs> All right, you know him, you love him, a new minute every single week, one of the great forces in comedy. It's William Montgomery, everybody. Hell yeah. Back to the bucket we go. Shout out to guy. Texas for letting artists smoke on stage. California sucks. All right, speaking of California, we know this guy from California. He's here now. Ladies and gentlemen, David Centofanti is here. Oh. David Centofanti. It's been a long time since we've seen this guy. Actually, I think he's been on once out here. No, he actually was on two weeks ago. Yep, here he is. He's back again. David Centofanti, everybody. I've got a great body. For stealing salami. Yeah. Security guard never knows, you know. It's a true problem, though. <laughs> My mom visited here recently. Yeah, she came for 10 days. Oh, no, oh, no is right. <laughs> yeah, I was said to my brother, I was like, how am I going to manage this? He's like, you got to get on her level. I was like, what does that mean? He's like, you got to get drunk. <laughs> Alcohol wasn't enough, so I started smoking some weed, and she wanted to try it. She goes, blow it in my face. <laughs> blow it in your face? We are not a sexy mother-son couple. 
okay? I want to be the first man on Mars. I want to be the first man on Mars to own slaves. Jesus, you're going to end on that? Is there not a, like a punchline coming or something? There is, but we don't... I didn't realize we were just reading our fucking bucket lists up here for comedy sets. Let's hear the rest of it. You want to own slaves on Mars, and then what? And are so, you talking about the planet or the candy bar company? <laughs> Mars makes M&Ms and Snickers and shit. Go ahead. Yeah. Oh, really? Okay. No, I know that you know. Yeah. I know you know, boy, that got stuck in the fucking chocolate tube at Willy Wonka's factory. I know you know what Mars is. Red Band's fucking stunt double up here. (laughs) What do you eat? Bowling balls, bro? (laughs) What do you... Okay, so finish the joke. You want to own slaves on Mars, and then what? Uh, I'll be the bad guy. No one remembers the person that was the first to have slaves, but everyone remembers who freed them. What kind of slave are you talking about? <laughs> are you talking about like every, any, anybody? Are you talking about black people? Are you talking about like aliens? Or? See, it's a little longer. It gets into everybody, but uh, we start with black people. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Danny, what do you think about this? Homeboys in outer space. I mean... <laughs> 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 Sounds like a great time. I don't know. America ain't been working out. I mean, shit, get niggas on Mars. If they got scissor, Danny's gone. So, uh, Fact. <laughs> they got in those little Capri Sun packets for you up there. <laughs> I love it. David, you were just on the show a couple weeks ago. Remind us of the highlights of that, uh, of that interview. So we found out my sister is now stripping, and I sing opera. Okay, that's right. You did sing some opera that, that for us. That was awesome. This Thank guy's you. got fucking pipes on him. Are and you still dating that girl that you were dating uh, a couple weeks ago that you cooked food for and sung opera for? So I told her I brought it up publicly, and she wasn't too thrilled. Ah. Yeah. Wow. yeah she wasn't too thrilled about it. Wow. So we'll see, because it's an every other weekend thing, because she's got four kids. Yeah. So when he takes the kids, I come over and... Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, my God. Look when, at you, extra baggage over there. <laughs> when you fuck her, does it feel like four kids? Okay, red band, red band. He said he sang opera. For some reason, I just want to see him sing that's amore. You know that one? That's amore. That's amore. When the moon hit the sky. <laughs> <laughs> that's amore. When the moon hits. I like a big pizza pie. That's amore. Digga digga doom, digga digga doom. There you go. That's amore. I do you get it? Yeah. You gotta put that in your comedy somehow, dude. I have a I have a good opera bit. No, he loves singing about pizzas, man. It's a yeah, right. That's the only reason he knows that song. <laughs> I love it. What, what do you do for work? Uh, right now, I am working as a day trader. A probably. day trader? Yeah. Oh, I my took, God. Look I at this. Took, the I fucking the all, pigs of Wall Street exactly. over here. I took all that unemployment from uh, California <laughs> and did pretty well in weed stocks. <laughs> yeah. Guess, like weed. Weed made me money. So. Uh, what nice. are you into now? Doge? Or, or what are I you? Am, I'm in Doge, AMC, all the... AMC. All the guys that look like me on Wall Street bets. That's, yeah. yeah, right. I got a new boat because of AMC. <laughs> a new Fuck boat? Yeah, yeah. What'd you get? A fucking <laughs> pedal boat? Canoe. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> got a new boat because of AMC. Shut the fuck up, dude. <laughs> Unbelievable. All right. Uh, what else, David? What else? So when you hook up with this chick that has four kids, do the kids ever try to play with you or anything? No, I've made it clear I do not want to meet the kids yet. Wow. Yeah. Do you have I, to pay for the babysitter? I, no, no. See, that's Fuck black that. people He's shit. He's paying for the babysitter. That's, that's black people that's shit. That's his you job. Pay that's for not the my kids. Really? Yeah, nigga. You want to take her out? He's like, come on. You got to give me a couple dollars. You got to do something. Damn, that's how it works. <laughs> yeah, I, you just got to pay for the babysitter. Damn, I don't know about that. I don't know. <laughs> 
I, I'm learning. And then she still tell you when it get late. Like, you know the kid's about to wake up. I got, you know. <laughs> oh, shit. I got, I'm you know, so grateful that I know nothing about that world. You might pay a little world. more extra for the babysitter, you know. Yeah. Fucking See, shit. See, look, they know what I'm talking about. Trying to about. be careful. You got to pay for that babysitter, you know, Mike. Is she a big girl, the lady with four kids? She's she's a healthy, you know. Oh. She's <laughs> Are you healthy? You wouldn't be surprised to see me with her. Okay. Right. Yeah. We would be. You no. should buy her a little table. A little t- what? No. All right. Put it in front of you. All right, David. You were on a couple weeks ago. Good sets. And did you get a joke book last time yeah, you were yeah, on? Yeah, yeah, I did, yeah. Okay, there Appreciate he goes. It. David Sendafonti, everybody. He's on social media. David Sendafonti. I'm going to fly through a couple more here. Let's see what happens here. Make some noise for Tyler Nelson. Here we go. We're going to keep it moving. Tyler Nelson's next. Shout out again to the Yellow Rose and the Red Rose, the two best strip clubs yeah. here in Austin. Here he is. One more time for Tyler oh. Nelson, everybody. Y'all think that if Nazis never existed, uh, focus groups would be called concentration camps? Uh. <laughs> Grateful they did, because that bomb fucking... Uh, I'm not gay. Thank you. That's, that's the rest of my set. I'm not gay, but I see a lot of dick tattoos online. You know, because I look them up. Yeah. It's always real lowbrow shit. It's very disappointing. It's always like anacondas or dragons. All that stuff. I would want to make it count. Like, if I were to get a dick tattoo, I'd make it look like a jewel. You know, a little e-cigarette. Yeah. Lots of girls under 25 with nicotine addictions. And just like at a house party, they stop talking to you when you run out of juice. Uh, is this a cheese flavored pod? Gross. Y'all. Ah, uh, fuck. All right, fuck yeah. Tyler Nelson coming in really. Coming in lukewarm today. Uh, really bringing it. You're. Your set was soft, but somehow your belt is hard as a rock right now. Your belt is fully erect. Look at that fucking Bonered thing. up. <laughs> yeah, Bonered up. Yeah. Belt bonered up. You're a wild man. Tyler, you've been on this show before. Yes, sir. Uh, there was something with your teeth, right? You were missing yeah, a tooth. You have it fixed now. The power of Kill Tony, everybody. Uh, Thank you. you. come up here with jack teeth. I promise you, we will talk you into fixing that shit. Wow. How'd you remember that? A little bit of tough love for Tyler Nelson. Oh, I remember because I don't fucking remember. I don't forget when someone's missing a fucking front tooth, dude. Yeah. God damn it, I was missing a front tooth for years. That doesn't matter. Danny, you can pull that shit off. That's it. Your teeth are like your 17th most interesting thing about you. <laughs> this guy, it was the first thing you know. Look at this fucking young Forrest Gump looking motherfucker. This is like right when he got the leg braces off in the movie. Yeah. Me so fucked up. Tyler, how old are you? 22. 22 years yes, old. Sir. You're adorable. What are you doing for work, buddy? Um, I work for a flight school. I clean planes, and I work as a safety pilot. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you're learning how to fly? Yes, sir. That's Just awesome. Right seat. All right. The right seat. First mm-hmm. officer. Look at you. <laughs> Absolutely. I know all that yeah. fucking stupid lingo. <laughs> all right. They let you wear those shoes on an airplane? God damn. Nah. These are just... Uh, Clean and shoes, that's why they're all dirty and shit. Wait, what? But they're just like, most of my job is cleaning the planes. Oh, those you know? are your cleaning shoes, so you wear yeah. dirty shoes to clean in. Amen. Okay, that sort of makes sense. <laughs> all right, Kaylee said hell yeah, she loves anything dirty, so uh, that makes sense. Uh, you're 22 years old, what's your love life like? Um, I've, got, I've got this girl that I'm seeing, but she doesn't want to actually date. So, Tell us what you mean by that. So she's, she's from Nepal, and they are not allowed to date white people at all. Yeah. She's from Nepal. Yeah, her okay. parents would never allow so her to So how date far have you guy. gotten with this girl? Did she uh, let you see one of her Nepals? Woo! <laughs> <laughs> That was, that was incredible. If we could do that every time I say a great joke, I'd appreciate that. If we could always just break into I Believe I Can Fly, that'd be pretty baller, man. Oh, 
Has she let you see one of her nipples? Two. Two nipples, whoa! (laughs) Think about it every night and day. Oh, oh, okay, it stopped. Uh, Like, a girl from that country has to have big areolas, right? Like brown ones? Brian, what the fuck are you talking about? (laughs) Does she have big areolas? They're really long. Whoa! <laughs> Woo! Do you think about it every night and day? Do you spread your wings and fly away? All three of them. Where'd you meet a girl from Nepal? Uh, Wonder Bar in the Domain. Oh, wow. All the way to the Domain. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Wow. Is she around your age? Is she a little bit older? Uh, yeah, she's 25. Wow. Yeah. And she's from Nepal. Look up a Nepal girl. Let's see what this sort of looks like. <laughs> I want to see exactly what shade we're dealing with here. You know what I mean? No, N-E-P- N-E-P-A-L, you dirt ball. He literally just typed in nipple. <laughs> oh, Okay. Okay, so it's sort of like a, it's sort of like a light, uh, it's like a wide-eyed Filipino sort of, is yeah. what we'll say. Does that make sense, everybody? Is that okay? Uh... <laughs> Am I still allowed to talk? Huh? It's like a bright-eyed Filipino is what we'll call yeah, it, like right? A crossover between Indian and Korean. Okay, yeah, yep, yep, oh, that's that. That sounds the, actually really no nice. No booty. Yeah. No booty, right? No booty. And can you confirm that she has no booty? <laughs> Halfway. Halfway? Halfway? Really? Have you grabbed it? Yes. Okay. So Halfway is pretty good. Though. So Halfway. you've seen nipples, you've seen a booty. Have you had intercourse with her? Yes. Whoa. Uh, Look at that. What are they known for in Nepal? What are they? What are their hairy stomachs? Okay, Amy. Red Band. <laughs> let the people answer, Red Band. In Nepal, they're known for, like, Mount Everest. Wow, you already have one of her flies landing on your yeah. head. That's incredible. Uh, <laughs> you can't even make it up. <laughs> yeah. Mount Everest and hating Indians. That's what they're known for over there. Yeah. That one will be edited out. I promise you that, folks. That was just for you. Lord knows all of the fucking Nepal government doing a state-run news story on me can't make this shit up when there's a fly landing on a white guy's head. Uh, All right, so what are they famous for? In Uh, Nepal, I'm sure you've had to have this boring conversation with her in order to get into her pants. Uh, Yeah, just Mount Everest and hating Indians. Okay. That's the the gist I've gotten from it. And Wait, what? You you, you confused Danny Brown for a second. Hating Indians? What type of Indian? No, like, uh, Bindi. Bindi Indian. Yeah. The fuck is I going think we're going too far. We might. Have yeah, I don't know what's going on anymore. <laughs> we already on probation, man. You might want. <laughs> you might want to wrap this one up. <laughs> I love it. So you've had sex with her, but she doesn't want to date. You sort of want to make it a long-term relationship type of thing. You really like her. Yeah. So why won't she date you? What is she saying? Uh, because if her parents found out, she would stop getting money. From Where her. are her parents at? Where are the parents located? Yeah, so they're, in right. yeah, they're in well, Nepal? Well, how could they possibly find out? Uh, she lives with her brother here. So if oh. He found out, oh, yeah, it's a wrap, man. Leave, yeah. her, leave that girl alone, and, man. And the brother and the parents, they want her to be with a Nep- Nepalese? Is that yeah. the word? And the funny thing is, she told, me, she told me that even if she found a Nepalese guy that she liked, they would also, there's like a thing about class systems over there. So they uh. also have to be in like some, it's... I don't know. I don't know where you'd find that in America. You have know you, what? We should, we, here's what we should do. Here's what we should do. I have an idea. We have her take a picture with her and Danny Brown. Okay? okay. She sends it back home. Yes. The parents lose their fucking minds. All right? And then you go, just kidding. She's with me. Yeah. Right? And then they're like, oh. Oh, thank God. I got clout, though. They might be like, this nigga famous kind of so. <laughs> that's right. They the might cl- be like, this nigga famous. That's right. But- we still have to deal with your class problem. Uh- yeah, they classes over there, man. I got a Yacht Master Rolex. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> 
We got to do it. Well, we'll let him take a picture with your Rolex on, and then we'll, uh, then we got it all figured out. How much money do you have saved all together? What's your net worth? Come on, just say it right into the microphone. Don't think about it. What? One hundred and forty dollars. One hundred and forty dollars. <laughs> wow. My goodness. And what do you do for work again? I asked you that. Uh, mostly clean planes, but also safety pilot. So oh yeah, that's yeah. right. That's right. You're fucked. You're totally fucked. Uh, yes. But you know what, man? You're out here. You're doing jokes. You're getting better every week. You're making the small improvements. You're getting your teeth fixed. You're fucking taking care of business. Amen. I like your style, dude. And I know how the Forrest Gump story begins, and I know how it ends. So you have a lot of good times ahead of you, ladies and gentlemen. There he goes, Tyler Nelson with a big joke book. Take that shit. Take it. You guys ready to get a lady up here tonight? We haven't had a single woman pulled out of this bucket. We're going to do it. Let's see what we got here. Sorry to Jack. Money. Oh, shit, ladies and gentlemen. Not only has this young lady uh, been on this show before, but after I saw her, I had her open every single one of my stand-up shows that have happened here in Austin, Texas. Here with a brand new minute, I present to you truly one of my favorite comedians in this city, Genevieve, everybody! Bup, 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 bup. This is the oh, future. This is Michigan, the... we got Michigan love in this bitch. This is the future. Motherfucking Genevieve! I got this cousin and we were close as kids. And then we lost connection, and then we tried to find each other as adults, and we're reconnecting, and he tells me one day, he's like, Jenny, for some reason, I feel like I can't get close to you. I said, well, how about you roast me then? He said, Jenny, you're my cousin. I can't roast you. You got a thick-ass neck, but I can't roast you. Your afro is lopsided than a bitch, but I can't roast you. You look like a nigga in a dress, but I can't roast you. You look like the transgender Frederick Douglass, but I can't roast you. You look like Daryl's sister from The Office, but I can't roast you. And I'm like, well, damn, I guess you can't, motherfucker. I'm tall, I've been tall for a while. I was, all right. Hell yeah, there you go. You want to finish it? Tall for a while. I was tall in high school, so I figured you should do what every tall person does in high school, try out for the basketball team. But then I looked at the basketball team and I said, I'm tall, but I'm not a lesbian. <laughs> but then I got out of college and married a woman. I should have hooped. Wow. Genevieve. Monster. Monster. I love me some Genevieve. Fire, fire. <laughs> she is a monster. Y'all gotta take me shopping to get some cowboy gear, man. Hell yeah. Man, I'm so dead. You Abs know I got you. Absolutely. You boots. I want some boots. Absolutely. Just so I can feel fancy when I step over the homeless. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> God damn, God damn. Genevieve has arrived, a powerful, powerful force. What's going on, y'all? Genevieve opens all my stand-up shows. I have her every single chance I could get. I didn't even realize the first couple times I was calling, I thought you lived here in Austin. Turns out she was making the drive from Dallas every time. I'm like, hey, want to go do Fire, show? fire. Yeah, monster. I appreciate them calls, man. We'll make it every time. Absolutely. Absolutely. We're going to do it again on Saturday. You're here Saturday, right? Yes. Awesome. Sweet. Uh, so, uh, Genevieve, what's been up since the last time we uh, talked man, with you? Man, people have been so nice to me, man. It's been a crazy ride. You got I the mean, Kill Tony bump. The, uh, the bump? Yeah. You got cocaine in the green Oh, right, right, right. Uh, right. Sure. Yeah, right. Hilarious. But the, the, we're talking about post-Kill Tony Genevieve. Oh, man, it's been crazy. Like, a lot of people have been nice. I've been getting to see Austin different venues. It's a crazy place for live entertainment. It's been a wild ride. I appreciate y'all. Love yeah. it. And you love Austin? You just moved here from Dallas, right? Yeah, I moved here from Dallas April 1st. Yep. 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 
What do you love about it? What's different? What what's because uh, I've been all around Texas, but normally until I moved here, you know, just in a city for a weekend, a few times a year, you just spend most of your time at the hotel. You try. I like Barton it. Springs. It's oh, just like, okay. Yeah, they about to drop that reservation shit. It look like one of y'all racist uncles made the website. I can't figure it out. <laughs> What do you do at Barton Spring? This black girl can swim. You swim? Really? Wow. Only backwards, though. Oh, okay. <laughs> that makes sense. You got that, you got the black stroke. <laughs> the black stroke. <laughs> Can't fuck up the hair, man. That's how they do it, man. They only do backstroke. You got the head above the water, uh, man. It's hilarious. And you have a white boyfriend. He swims normally towards you. <laughs> He's, he rescues her. <laughs> Yeah, uh, that's a, yeah, he's her lifeguard. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got you, babe. I love it. Barton Springs, what else? H E B, what are we oh, talking I about? I love H E B, man. I just had some chicken salad there. And I'm I'm one of the uh black people that trust white people chicken salad. I know that's rare. Wow. Y'all can throw me some raisins in there. I appreciate the shit. You, you th- let me, but let, let's be honest though. Do you punch up white people's chicken salad? You throw your own like extra relish I mean, and mayo in there? I mean, don't make chicken salad though, man. You know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, That's some white people <laughs> shit anyway. <laughs> so. Really? You don't like chicken salad? You don't like chicken salad? I mean, a nigga might make some tuna salad. That shit like some jail shit to me. The only time I ate chicken salad, I was in the county. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Hold on, D Madness. What are you about to say? Know, we got better things to do with the chicken, like fry that motherfucker, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We ain't wasting no chicken on no salad. Man, I like chicken salad. Got us salad. fucked up. <laughs> we got better things to do with that chicken. Yeah, we ain't fucking no chicken up. You look no at salad. chicken salad like it's just a pile of wasted chicken. With raisins in it? What? I flipped the whole table over like I lost in blackjack. Wow. You don't <laughs> like raisins either? Not no salad, nigga. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Y'all wait, so y'all get it. I love it when people call me the N word. You know See, why? I, you know why? I don't know what. Like I'm gonna tell you why. Cause we niggas and we grew up with roaches in the crib. You get what I'm saying? So when you see uh, roaches and type of food, when you see raisins uh, and salads and shit, you're like, nigga, that's a roach. Uh, so you don't want to eat that shit. Okay. We got PTSD. Okay, that makes sense. That that's makes amazing. fucking sense. We ain't eating no chicken salad with raisins, nigga. That's a roach. I've that learned bitch. more you... on this episode by having Danny on as a guest than any guest we've had in a year. <laughs> what do you think about prunes? What do I think about what? Prunes. No one's prunes. talking about fucking prunes up here, Red Band. I mean, one time, see, what I think about prunes, one time back in the day, man, when I was a kid, man, we had this situation where they had something called Focus Hope in Detroit where, you know, you wouldn't, you wouldn't really have that much money. You can go to this place and they'll give you boxes of food. And, you know, my mom used to go there. To, you know, what's with government food? You get the big black cheese and all that kind of shit. So they gave her these big-ass bag of prunes. Us as kids, we thought they was just like, damn, these raisins look kind of big. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so we just chilling in the crib, watching Bo trying, doing what we do. Just munching on this bag of prunes. You know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure y'all know the end of the story. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, we know the end of the story. You know, so yeah, that... man, prunes ain't raisins, man. <laughs> but in the hood, we thought we had, you know. We know the know? end of the story. You ended up making a chicken salad in your pants. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was a beef stew. <laughs> 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 so Danny motherfucking beef Brown. stroganoff. <laughs> I love it, Genevieve. So what else is going on? How's your white boyfriend doing? How long you been with him again? Three years. Three years. Look at that. They're going to make it, people. They're going to go all the way. Do you guys fight a lot? Do you ever get in a fight? Like, what's your biggest fight? Uh, Let me see. He ever tried to tell you that he wants to be the first guy to own slaves on Mars or anything like that? (laughs) I tell him all the time. I tell him I think he's a German spy trying to infiltrate black culture and take the information back to Germany. Can you... And you German you? rap. I mean, yeah, man. I'm, we paranoid like that. I can go with that one. <laughs> <I> think, uh, <laughs> take a hit. Nigga, is you a spy? <laughs> what? 
<laughs> Genevieve, do you have any like hobbies or special skills or anything that we never uh, we never found out about you or talked with you about or anything? You like sing? You see all these people up here. We have them play instruments and do I magic think, tricks. You, I think I'm not sure. I never tested myself, but I think I can make an origami bird in under a minute. Really? What kind of origami? Oh, out, of, out of a piece of paper? Yeah, I think I can do it under. Someone a minute. give me a fucking oh, piece shit. of paper right now. You I demand. Some shit. How about a hand for... That's not a fucking piece that's of paper. That's a fucking menu. That's no, cardboard. No, don't. Give me this. Give me this. That's we, cardboard. We don't, that's cheating. Stripper, stop using your brain. There you go. <laughs> give me a real piece of paper. Zach Bogus, go find me a fucking piece of paper. He's got stripper brain, too. I don't know why I'm asking Zach Bogus. God damn it. Okay. okay. This is sort of... Again, it's not really... No. That's a real piece of paper. Okay. That'll work. Ladies and gentlemen, can I get some more? Oh, you got, yes, you do have origami music. Here we go. Come on, everybody. Step back from that ledge. Oh, that was it? Oh, my, my God. My ass was too nervous, man. Oh, oh come on. <laughs> I, I was watching. Away. I was like, he make this motherfucking bird. Let me how you do that shit. That was like the comedian earlier. She's like, I believe that's been a minute. <laughs> my Genevieve, I would love to have you on the secret show on Thursday. I Here at yes. y'all so Vulcan. Good. Y'all have a good night. Thank y'all so much. I got to say, this is the worst fucking origami bird I've ever seen in my life. Whatever. Detroit this is Public still... Schools, baby! <laughs> a... Oh, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. You are from Detroit. Yeah, we met. He, uh, yeah, oh, okay. You guys about? know each other. All right. You guys have the same, you guys have the same barber and everything. All right. Cool. Uh, <laughs> there she goes. The great Genevieve, yeah, everybody. Like Woo. See Genevieve on Instagram. We got to get one more up here, right? You guys want to go to the bucket one more time? All right. We got this table of day drunk white guys over here in the corner. Look at this guy wasted over here. I like White boy I, summer. I caught you wasted as fuck, dude. I like your style, That's bro. That's that white boy summer right there. It is. Look at these guys. This looks like an entourage was I'd be filmed scared of them. On, on Rainy Street or something. I'd be like scared that. of them. Them the new niggas. Don't be scared of the niggas you see with the dreads and all that. Be scared of them type of niggas right there. They ain't dangerous. I have no idea what Danny Brown just said to me. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, your final comedian out of the bucket tonight goes by the name of Dylan Jarbo. Dylan Jarbo. Let's see what happens here. See if we can utilize. Uh... All right, here he comes. One more time, come on! Give it up for Dylan Jarbo, everybody. He's got a shot. Woo. Give it up for the environment. Yeah, I don't know if you guys know this, but there's currently a 500-mile peninsula of trash in the Atlantic Ocean, and I used to live there. It's called Florida. My last girlfriend was vegan. Not fun. She was so vegan, she couldn't do doggy style because she thought it was cultural appropriation. <laughs> do you guys think bloods are allowed to invest in cryptocurrency? <laughs> they had a meeting. They're like, all right, we got this thing, it's digital, it's called crypto, it's called what? I'm sorry, what? Let's rebrand that, we're going with crypto currency. Sweet! Sweet! I used to skate a lot in Florida. Uh, I don't know a lot of skaters here, so I found an app to meet other skaters. It's called Grinder. Ooh. Not a lot of skate talk. Feels like more of a rollerblading community, if you ask me. Wow. That was fire. That was fire. Brown. Dylan motherfucking Charbo making his Kill Tony hey, hey. debut. Powerful yeah. performance. Holy shit, dude. How long you been doing stand-up? About five years. Hell yeah. All of it here in Texas? No, all in Florida. Where in Florida? <laughs> We're at in Florida. Jacksonville, Florida. Okay. <laughs> oh, felons, Fun I love people you. come out of Jacksonville. No, that's not where Disney is, right, man? You can't just do that for every city in no, Florida. No, I said, oh, God. 
shot! Like, like that's what Mickey would think about Jacksonville, Florida. Yeah, he would get shot right after that. Yeah, Jacksonville fuck. gangster, man. It's, it's fucking Maybe. terrifying. Hell yeah, yeah, but that's where you have to be. But you have to be what? from a terrifying place to be funny. Shit. All those comedians out of Boston, those tough streets in New York, Youngstown, Ohio. I mean, <laughs> Jacksonville, Florida. Jacksonville, Florida. Florida. Level, Detroit. Right Jacksonville See. next level. <laughs> yeah, Jacksonville's crazy. And you've been out of there for how long? About five months. All here. Don't go back. <laughs> you, moved, you moved straight here. Go to Detroit. <laughs> you made it out. Don't go back. Dylan, you moved here to Austin, Texas. Yes, sir, I did. I love it. Where, which part of the city do you live in? Um, in South Austin, I think. Manchac. Okay. Oh, okay. I hate Damn. It. It's awful. Don't applaud that. It's terrible. You over there by that weird never-ending festival? I think. I don't know. There's like a carnival out there out. somewhere. Am I right? Am I learning? Where are the carnies at? Areas? Yeah. I tried to go there for the first time the other night. I'm like, oh, shit, look at this fucking carnival. So I went there, and, uh, and, and there, was just, there was a line that I've never even fathomed before. Did I talk about this last no. week? Yeah, there was a line. Like, I haven't seen anything like it. Uh, there was like 10 people wide and thousands of people deep to get into this carnival here in Austin, Texas. Yeah. Yeah, no I, was, I was completely either. sober, so I wasn't just imagining it. I, by the way, You'll fun fact, I've been given more mushrooms here in Austin, Texas in five months than I have my entire hey. life before that. There we go. For those of you that don't know why Austin's economy is booming, it's because 50% of the people grow their own mushrooms and sell they them. They do. And cocaine. There and you cocaine. go. Sure. There you go. Most cocaine I've ever seen in my life. Seriously. <laughs> that's Which your thing? crew that you hang out with, Red yeah, Band. That's your story? Yeah. These are cause... the friends that Red Band was able to make here in... Uh... I moved here to stop doing cocaine. So. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. And I got to tell you, Danny Brown's performance here tonight, a huge improvement. <laughs> 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 Danny famously, I can talk about it now that we made it through this episode. Danny famously had an episode in Detroit. Some of you are just becoming fans now that we're here. Don't go look at this shit now, man. <laughs> what the fuck? Now we'll you gonna make these motherfuckers go watch it. No, it's good now. Dude. It's, look it's back good now because it's a comeback story, bro. <laughs> but we did an episode in Detroit, and we're like, oh, we're going to blow this audience's mind because we hadn't done an episode in Detroit up until that point. So we had, I think we sold like fucking like 900 tickets or something like that to this show of rabid fans that couldn't believe we'd finally made it to Detroit. And we're like, not only are we doing this, we're going to bring out the king of Detroit, fucking Detroit Danny Brown is the guest, fan of Kill Tony. And Danny (laughs) Danny came out fucking higher than Elon Musk. Uh, (laughs) To the moon! I was at home, man. That's one thing. You can't do shit. I, I will say... I mean, just doing something with someone when they're at home, you know. Hold on, hold on. It, it's, just, it's just harder than when you, you know, because it didn't feel like work to me. If you're I wondering would, what an episode of Kill Tony is like, bad, yeah. is like when the guest never stops talking into the microphone, <laughs> go back and listen. He literally doesn't stop. I could be like, Danny, please stop for 10 seconds so that I could get the next comedian on. And he was telling us how to make, like, banana milkshakes and shit like that. <laughs> I swear, I mean, not one of my finest moments, but you know, <laughs> you know, you know, a strong, you know, it was a setback for a strong comeback. So you know what I'm saying? Super Make some strong noise for comeback. Austin, Texas. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. And by the way, I want to say about Danny, this is what a badass Danny is. That when people ask him why he moved to Austin, he says because of the up and coming fucking comedy scene here. He's such a fan That's of comedy. That's not all true, too, man. I moved here because of a beautiful lady that I fell in love with, so I'm here with her, too. Oh, yeah, that, too. You know what I'm that saying? Too. But, you know, y'all. Y- I know, but you know, no, y'all second. Y'all, y'all. You know, you know, you can't take all the credit. Hey, pussy and comedy, my friend. Yeah, what's, you know what I'm saying? We got one of them here. Like, how, how big uh, were you doing comedy in Florida? Like, did you do Oh, yeah, this sets, fucking or? guy's still here. Oh, I forgot about this one. <laughs> we only forgot. <laughs> and so much fun up and here. And he did great. He did amazing. Absolutely. He fucking killed. That's as good as you could do. You're going to get two big joke books after this. Uh, <laughs> He's from Jacksonville, Ooh. man. He deserve it, man. This is I love it. Crazy. Tell us something about you that we'd be surprised to know, Dylan. Let's make uh, this interview a strong one and get out of here. <laughs> My roommate and I, are, we're growing mushrooms in our closet right now. So. <laughs> Tony, if you're looking, we got it. 
I bought uh, nothing I love more than closeted mushrooms. You know what I mean? Oh God! When those things come out, they are fucking butt fucking delicious. <laughs> yeah. uh, Dylan, what else? Do you have any special skills? What do you do when you're not doing stand up? What do you like to do at nighttime and things I like that? I grow mushrooms in the closet of my room. Other than oh, the wow. mu- other than the mushrooms, Dylan. Other than the mushrooms, Dylan. Come on, stick with me, Dylan. I'm sticking with you. Uh, I write jokes and grow mushrooms and. Church's chicken. There we go. Oh, did you say church's chicken? Church's chicken. That's church's the only thing chicken. down there. The worst chicken. The worst what? chicken. Yeah, yeah. That's the worst chicken. Hell okay. yeah, man. They only just got Fucking that hot awful. pepper. People go to church of chicken just for a little pepper. You know what I'm saying? But see, y'all know what I'm talking about. Is that pepper? I mean, see, you don't even, dog. You, you they never in two different it. worlds. Have you had Bush's chicken yet? See, man, I'm, I, my grandma was Filipino. And sometimes she had to, you know what I'm saying? You know, Filipinos cheap, man. They make the worst. They make the best out of what they got. So church's chicken for my grandma was like buffet type shit. She'd be like, oh, we go get some churches. Because you can get like 50 pieces of chicken for like $5. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> but as a kid. Your life. <laughs> I love it. What's your love life like, Dylan? Oh, God. It's I not, know. It's we grow mushrooms good. in your closet. I know. It's not, it's not, it's not how good. About, how about your love life, though? You've been on a date recently? Oh, I've been on so many, and they last 12 minutes at all. Yeah, you've been on what? I've been on a couple here, a couple hinge dates, and they're not good at all. What, how, do the most, how do those end for you? You got uh, late at all? My, I, my roommate has to, my dog is over somewhere. And Dylan, then, and let me leave. ask you this. Have you kissed a girl since you've been here in Austin, Texas? No. Oh, well, then you know what that means, everybody. Kiss me. Where are the strippers at? Guys, this is a little segment on the show that we like to do where uh, if Come somebody on, hasn't gotten a kiss. Hold on. Red band, red band. Please just relax. Jesus oh, fucking Christ, you are the biggest creep ever. He couldn't wait. <laughs> oh, my God. He literally, like, he just has to call his show. Just relax. Just relax. This guy hasn't gotten a kiss yet from a Texas girl. You guys know how this show works. Is there a Texas girl out there that's willing to give this guy his first big Texas kiss? Come on, someone's got to do it. There's got to be somebody Is out there. Is there a different Texas girl? That <laughs> Dylan, shut the fuck up before you cock block okay, yourself, okay, 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 you idiot. Okay, 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 okay. There's got... It, I, who, everyone knows that... Oh, there's a stairway over there. Here stairs. No, 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 stairs. You have to take the stairs. Yeah, you got consent. Just go get the fuck around this way. Shh. You know what? Is there any, somebody else? No, Yoni. 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 I don't want that one. I don't want that one. I don't want that one. Go back to your seat. She's got fucking Amy Schumer energies. I don't like her. I don't like her. I need a girl with a good spirit to take that stairway. Come up here and give this guy a big fucking Texas kiss. I'm going to wait. There's got to be someone willing to do it. It could be up in the balcony. They could be on their way down right now. Where's Hans But Kim I know at? someone's going to do it. Hans Kim, where you at? There better be a fucking girl on her way to this stage this right is, now. This is it's fine. Cringy. No, I know. No, 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 no. no. Nah. Don't, I don't want to fucking... Whoever's going to do it just better fucking... Okay. God damn it. She had to take one for the team. This is a take one for the team. <laughs> yeah. Whoa! Kill Tony yeah, undefeated. Yeah, with that new titties, red rose, yellow rose shirt. What's that? Because we'll sign up next oh, week. Sign up All next right. week, you little fucking like dirty cinnamon. little slut. There you go. Yeah, rip the it. great rip, Kaylee rip. from Red Rose and Yellow Rose. Oh, everybody. I thought I recognized you. <laughs> you got it. No, I did not. I'm so glad we stopped the fucking Karen from coming up here that was trying to make her way up here. She was going to kiss this guy and then complain to the manager afterwards about it. He kissed me! I didn't fucking know what I was signing up for. I could feel those energies from 12 feet away, ladies. What's the longest set you've done? Uh, 30 minutes. Okay. I'd love to have you on Thursday on the Seeker Show. Whoa! Dylan, Dylan Jarbo. Am I saying that right? Yeah, look like yeah, yeah. Dylan. 
And he's on social media, Dylan Jarbo, D-I-L-L-O-N-J-A-R-B-O-E. How do you feel? Your first Kill Tony appearance. You killed it. You got I the love big... it. Shout Dylan out. Jarbo, everybody! Hey. Shout out Sunset Strip. There you go. You go ahead. We're not doing shout outs yeah, tonight. Man. There you go. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Shouting out streets over here. Streets in California. So stupid. Guys, there's only one way to end a show like this. You want to fucking do it? All right. This guy, the reigning and defending undisputed king of Kill Tony. With two decades of experience in Chicago at Second City. My dog. Got diagnosed with ALS and became a comedian. And now he is. The one, the only, the great Michael Lehrer, everybody! Ladies and gentlemen, life is short. Live it up. That's why most women don't report their rapes. Too much paperwork. <laughs> and don't waste a minute of your life. Never talk to an open mic comedian unless you need advice on food stamp fraud. <laughs> All right? But I don't know how long I have left on this earth, but I know I want to be buried but my dick in the bitch. All right. But I would not waste a minute of my time. Do not give me advice, especially medical advice. Nothing you tell me has missed my biggest dozen of neurologists, all right? I, you're giving me a research paper. I don't have time for research papers. I'm too busy fucking your mother. <laughs> All right? Now, but unless you're a woman, unless you're a woman, then you can read me Mein Kampf, and I'll sit there with a Kool-Aid smile in the bar. All right? But don't fucking touch me. My nerves are super sensitive, but if you're a woman, you can make me like a cow. Um, but I want to say this. My nurse slash girlfriend just broke up with me because of my new hobby, narco-terrorism. <laughs> but I want to say one more thing. I love guns. But there is one segment of America who does not deserve the right to bear arms. Me. <laughs> because there should only be one question on a gun application. Do you have any fucks left to give? <laughs> I have no fucks left to give. There's no gun! Yep. Oh. Holy shit! These people get it. These people fucking get it. Man. Michael motherfucking lights out Lair in the house, ladies and gentlemen. Wow, that Holy might have shit. been your best uh, set in like a like since that we've been to Austin, man. This, guy, guy, this motherfucker gets stronger Fight. and stronger every week. It doesn't make any sense. Flow guy level like when hope speaks and make the song we can't get the game broken. I, I believe Danny Brown said that to me earlier when uh <laughs> no doubt, man. It was a rap. I think that was a rap. <laughs> Hey, Mr. Brown. <laughs> you know you're my dog. Don't do this. Um, Don't do this. <laughs> but Danny, no. I you Mr. I Brown like he was your reservoir dog. I know. Go ahead. Danny, I love you so much. I love and you, you too. Thank you, Danny. And you know I'm such a big fan of yours and rap music in general. 
So, Danny, I brought you a present. Oh, right. <laughs> oh shit, really? You did? It's hooked to the back of my chair. Wait, grab it. Oh, shit. Man. Here we go. I painted the picture for Nanny. Me and him are rap OGs. Look how so excited, Look how excited Danny is to open a present right now. <laughs> he loves this shit. Danny's got like the greatest fucking spirit out of anybody I know. He's, he oh, yeah. really does. No, no, we love it. But I trust Michael. He's not gonna You're goddamn right. There's no fucking anthrax in there or anything. <laughs> oh shit. What is it? Oh shit. Yo oh, you got an emotion. Oh my god, they're reaction. kissing. Oh, they're going on. Oh. oh shit. What is it? Oh shit. Rest in Paradise Prodigy. No, because we had a conversation where we talked about rap music, and I told him that Prodigy from Mob Deep, I don't know too many people know about Prodigy from Mob Deep, but he, um, he died not too long ago, so rest in peace to Prodigy. But he's like one of the best rappers that I think ever to exist in the world that didn't get his props when he was on the earth. And if you look up the stats of everything, you know, it's just a lot of time we overlook shit because of what's going on in the world, but he had countless number one hits. He had... He done everything that you can possibly do as a rapper and still didn't get the props as to be looked at. Like when we think of like who the top five rappers or ever, you know, no, so no one would think about my even prodigy. But in the world, he is my top five rapper that I ever heard in my life. So make some motherfucking noise with prodigy. Shout, I love this. Uh. Fuck yeah, Michael Lair giving gifts to Danny Brown. Danny Brown giving kisses to Michael yeah. Lair. Wait, did he paint that? You painted that? No, Michael Laird didn't fucking paint that. <laughs> what are you doing with your feet? He couldn't do it with his fucking feet either. Yeah, I'm then I'm then the day do this. <laughs> my left foot and my right nut, bitch. <laughs> but I'm for real. That was painted by a Toronto artist named Stay Busy, who's a great fan. And um, um, also, shout out to Trackstar DJ. Um, he's wow. a, Trackstar, that's my dog. Yeah, um, he sent me some rough fan shit. I went, to, I went on tour with Trackstar, actually. One yeah, time. he's a DJ. He from, choked out one of my homeboys. <laughs> yeah. God damn. Oh, That's what happened yeah. when you tour for a long time. We've had so many shout outs on this show. Is this Kill Tony or the Breakfast Club? What's um, going on tonight? <laughs> it's showtime, Matthew. What happened when you get niggas on the set? <laughs> oh, yeah, Trackstar did put my nigga in the, fo- in the, in the rear naked. But I think he was just mad. I'd like to get a to- shout out to Taekwon. <laughs> uh, Lamar. Shout out to Wanda. Oh. Wine. Yes. yes, yes, keep going. Take How ra- are you still, bro? You on probation, man? God damn. Yo, why I don't know. Lick. Look, I've been black for forty years. I ain't met one nigga named Taekwon. That is definitely a, a white person ghetto name they came up with. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what nigga named Taekwon, man. But can it sounds like can I see that? It painting, sounds though? like I should can know I a nigga named painting? Taekwon. You but, know <laughs> that motherfucker. I ain't met no Taekwon. We all man. know Taekwon. We all know man, that guy. Nah, man. Yo. We're in a new era, man. Come see that? See that? Like my name is Daniel. Yo, hold on. Black people ain't naming kids Daniel no more. You get what I'm saying? Daniel, ain't that fire? <laughs> Think about it. In 2021, you like, fuck it, I'm going to name my kid Daniel. Like, right. You got morals and values when you do shit like that. You know what I'm saying? You really, you really want the best for this kid. You know what I'm saying? So think about what you name your kid, man, when you have it. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. All yeah. these new names, we don't know what it's going to be. We've seen successful Daniels. So look at them. Hmm? When I have one, I'm naming my kid D Madness. That's what I'm going to do. It just uh, the madness, Cliff. <laughs> Deep madness, Cliff. I mean, if you figure out, like you know, black people, we can put a like a French asterisk yep. on top of it, like just spell it out like crazy, yep. like you know what I'm saying, and yep. put it where people look at it, be like, oh, uh, and we if we get caught in class for attendance, they be like, oh, 
the the moon is the, the, the moon is the, 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 the you know michael what else has been going on this week um i got physically assaulted at the container bar <laughs> you did on, on rainy street, street yeah. at the container bar wow yeah. you got what physically this, assaulted the stuff there is great i love those people and I like to go to bars like that. It's, I can't dance anymore. I like to sing. And Wait, do. you can't dance anymore? Oh. You can't do the fucking... I ain't know that. He hit me up. My nigga Mike hit me up like, what's up? I'm at this reggae club. Pull up. I'm like, oh, shit. He does, dude. <laughs> he got bitches whining on him. I swear, to, I swear to God Michael Lair goes out more than I do. I'm like, I, I'm like, I don't know if I can pull up on this function. He sent me pictures and everything. I was like, you know what? He was literally at that bar the other night, and I was texting him. I'm like, hey, what are you up to? You know, I had the night off. Like, <laughs> he was saying, what's going on? With you? And it's right across the street from, you know, we live in, the, we live right next to, we, right, yeah, we, we live in the same area. And I go outside and I'm smoking a cigarette and I look at the place that he's at. The line is like a football field long. Music's bumping. Everybody's just wall to wall. I'm like, what the fuck is he doing in there? <laughs> He already I, up I, in that bitch, though, in the VIP. You know he's in the middle of the dance floor, like everybody he holding him up. up like, fucking... Yeah. Just, you got to call him to get in. This guy's out here fucking crowd surfing in a 100-pound wheelchair. Never a good time. People are like, this is much heavier than it looks. <laughs> Go that way. Ow. I love it. Michael, anything else we need to talk about before we move on? Before nah, we end man, this thing? I want to get crunked. All right, great. Let's do crunked? it. Let's all do it together. That's Kill Tony. <laughs> Guys, our guest tonight, catch him on twitch.com slash X Danny Brown X. He's twitching all the time. How loud can this place get for one of the greatest rappers of all time? Danny Brown! Don't play no games. <laughs> my man got me a motherfucking air fryer for my birthday. One of my longtime friends, the great Danny Brown. If you just use it for vegetables, I even won with that. I love you, man. How about I a big hand for Michael Lair, everybody? MichaelLairComedy.com. The yellow rose and the red rose makes it all possible. Shout-outs to CM Smokehouse at Bolden Acres. Shout-out to our friend Yoni at Best Barbecue Show. Make sure you follow him. Some delicious, uh, delicious Crown Royal up here tonight. How about a hand for the staff here at Vulcan Gas Company? Also, Adrian Cavazos at Boneseye on social media. Check out these books that are happening. Let's check this Ryan J. Ebel drawing out. Oh, my God. Look at this. Look at this shit. Look at that. That's you. Look how fucking cool we look. Ryan J. <laughs> RyanJEbelt.com for all these prints. Every single episode of the show. It's absolutely incredible. How about a hand for the band, everybody? D Madness, Michael Gonzalez, and Matt Muling. Follow them on social media at mutation at shit. Mike Agons13 and. Lorenzo Jackson something something. We're going to figure that out for next week. Sorry, D Madness. All right. On to the next one we go. We'll see you guys next week. We do this every Monday now. Hey, Falcon Thursday, 8 o'clock. We have a secret show. As you can see, a lot of people are uh, from this uh, are going to be on the show. Also got a Me bunch too. of Saturday Night Live people on this episode. Get your tickets at DeathSquad.t. That's true. Support live stand-up comedy. I'm also headlining a show here Saturday for the first time in a month. I'm pretty excited about that. There's going to be a lot of fun special guests on that. Some brand new material from me, thanks to uh, our little friend from Dallas that uh, changed my life. So I have something fun to talk about. I love you guys so much. Every single one of these episodes, we feel at home here in Austin, Texas. We love you guys. Thank you. Good night, everybody.